Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. As you see, we started without uh, music introduction or anything. And uh, uh, in this video, we are announcing that we will start our new uh, live broadcast uh, in different channel. And the target in that channel is going to be about the Bible. So the other channel will not be to debate Muslims, will not be about uh, uh, anything except uh, specifically the four Gospels uh, those who like to join us I have the link is in the message we will have and we have it in the info of the video and we will have it later in the comment section when the video is over uh, many of you were asking when I'm going to start it so I thought maybe the best time is to start is starting with the new year and the best day maybe it is celebrating the Christmas because there is many argument between Christians about if we can celebrate a Christmas or not and I find them all they are funny and you know shallow uh, you know sometimes people they are looking for you know like when when somebody drive every day in the highway driving normal nobody will notice you you know so you drive in the highway every day and uh, you will never make it in the news until you have a very bad driving. So some, they have a theory. In order to be known, they have to oppose. In order to oppose, they have to oppose something important, supposedly, or let us say something, a major belief. So from, from time to time, there is people who like to be, you know, they, they like the opposing mission. And, and things will, will not make a difference anyway, you know. Uh, but they like to oppose, it's just to, uh, you know, show that they are, exist uh, it's like you have a shoe and there is a nail going the shoe wrong you know that nail is the only one is known but the shoe the old shoes you used to have nails but there's many nails but is only one nail is the one hurt so some people they like to be the same as that nail who like to hurt you know so they will be they will, they will be noticed and then what will happen they will be smashed by the hammer uh, so don't be the same as those uh, shallow, you know, silly people. They try to make Christianity the same as Islam, you know, uh, as if we are Taliban and this is haram and this is uh, etc. You know, uh, Christmas is about being happy. And you, we will see from the Bible that even, you know, the Lord celebrated Jesus, uh, his only begotten son. And there is tons of verses in the Bible about celebration Jesus. They say to you, there's not a single one about the birth of Jesus. This is absolutely false. This is absolutely big, 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 you know, fabrication. And then you see some silly argument like Santa Claus is not real, you know, which is real, actually. You go, it takes you two minutes to go to Google. You will find that Santa Claus is a real person. And then another person, he will say to you, uh, you know, Santa Claus became God. Because why? Because you tell your children that he is watching you. If you don't do good, he will not bring you a gift. I mean, this, this, look how silly and look how stupid and look, you know. So, but really some people, they are very silly people. Even they are growing adult men and they claim to be leaders in churches. So if you say to your child, Santa Claus is watching you, uh, regardless if you agree or not, that makes Santa Claus God. That's it, you know. That's it. We are teaching, you know, we are that uh, Santa Claus is God. Uh, any, any, any story, I can make a bad side of it, you know. Anything, if I decide to. Uh, you can ask uh, uh, as an as an example, a rapist. Why are you rape this woman? He says she's beautiful. Uh -huh. So beauty became a sad, sad, uh, sad and bad. Uh, bad thing you know so she's beautiful so the rapist now he give you an excuse that she he raped her because she's beautiful if she is not he would not yeah, that's mean that you have you have a point there here you see how silly how shallow some people are so uh, uh, a thief he steal a bank or they have a lot of money I'm poor you know here we go so he found a bad side of the bank and now do you agree with banks or not well, none of us would like to keep his money at home because that will make us the target, not the bank. At least if they target the bank, I can get my money from them. They have to give it to me back even if the thief took all the money I have. So, if I want to look for a bad side of any story, I will find that bad side 
upon my creation and people human being is very creative you know and they are so good good in creating uh, uh, you know false uh, uh, excuses uh, we have somebody saying here and uh, no, I Christian Prince doesn't know anything apart from the Quran so you bunch of clown don't believe everything tells you he is not God well you know Jimmy uh, just uh, this is an example of uh, of silly people uh, let me give you mr. Jimmy here mr. Jimmy is telling you that Christian Prince is not God because you do not know a minute ago you thought he is God but now because of the help mr. of mr. Jimmy he is a genius now you discover thank you Jimmy I really really appreciate you you know so Jimmy was sitting in the bushes there behind the snow and Jimmy he scratched his bum and he decided to come with something very important and what I will tell those people here okay let me tell them first that Jesus, a, a, a Christian Prince is not God you know people in the chat they are shocked now I'm not Oh, okay thank you for telling us man I you know me myself I thought maybe as you claim I mean you are what an, you are the clown you idiot you are literally the clown what me speaking about the Christmas have to be to do with God and that mean based on your stupidity anyone here have an opinion he is God so why we listen to you are you God are you God yourself why we listen to you oh you must be God uh -huh. this is how silly people are there is many they are mentally ill they have you know uh, they are suffering from uh, jealousy nobody give here we go you remember i told you somebody might drive in the opposite direction of the highway so everybody can notice him here we go jimmy he got the attention thank you jimmy but you got the you got attention as an idiot well okay well you, you get what you deserve so uh <clears throat> This is an example of a, of a stupidity of a human being. You know, human being, uh, some of them, they like to kill your happiness. Some of them, they like to oppose you because you are happy. Let's say uh, somebody see in the neighbors have a party. Okay, well, it's 10 and 2 minutes. So what he do? He called the police. He says, those people, they are disturbing me. Why? Because he's an idiot. He cannot, he, he was waiting for the time to pass 10 so he can call the police. A good neighbor he would say well those people didn't have a party every day you know like maybe birthday or wedding or etc ah come on enjoy the music with them so the bent in the human being and the nature of a human being there's some they are jealous from you there's some they hate you to see to see to see you happy there's people if if you are crying if you are crying they get jealous from you even for crying this is how bad it can be you know like you're, you're crying, you're sad, he gets jealous because you have something to cry on. He have nothing to cry for, you know? So uh, when I say like stupidity is amazing, there is a reason for that. Uh, people, they have a very shallow mind, very dummy. And those dummies, if you listen to them, you know, like uh, the Bible speak about foolishness. If you search for the word fool, you know, in the Bible, you will see tons of verse, uh, phrases in the in the Bible speaking about associating with the fool. You know, so if you associate yourself with the fool, you become a fool like him. He will not make you smarter. He will take you down. So, uh, one of the foolishness is somebody to say to us that Christmas is a pagan tradition. That is a f total foolishness. Or the one who says to you that uh, Santa Claus is not real. Uh, <clears throat> right so anyway uh, 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 just remember uh, our channel is not is uh, is down in the message there uh, don't forget to click and join and subscribe because this is where we will be in the December 24th I'm not sure if the timing is perfect but I try to make the timing fit for every country in the world um, because that is kind of a mission impossible so it's going to be late night in uh, Asia but I think late, late night in Asia it's good because people will be home anyway with their family and they already have their dinner with their children and they 
share whatever you know uh, good moment and they can open YouTube in the same time listening to us you know so I think it's a good time for everybody uh, you know and uh, I hope we will be able to share some good input from the Bible about celebrating Christmas uh, people and people always you know always I look even like at the picture I choose here what is beautiful about this picture you might say every one of us we will see something different right the one who like the snow the white snow he will say the snow the one who like uh, to be uh, isolated he like privacy he like this house in the middle of nowhere you know and nobody bothering him the one who like uh, nature in general he will love the nature it's uh, everything is nature the house is made from wood the trees around you snow pure white snow there's no pollution there's no so everyone he see in the same image his own desire but there's somebody he called he would say i will never go there i will never stay there for a second i will ne if you take if you, even if you pay me for for my ticket airplane i will not go there so the same view the same nature the same picture each one of us he sees something different there there's one he will imagine himself freezing to death there's one he imagined himself sitting next to the fire and eating some chestnut and enjoying the time and there's someone he liked to be there reading a book and there's nobody bothering him taking vacation from everything so a human being uh, when he won't really he can be happy but usually we don't train ourselves how to be happy and Christmas is a good way to train us how to be happy and we will talk about that in our coming videos uh, but the most important thing is how to train your brain you know to enjoy what is lawful you see uh, there is many joys in this earth and many of them they are not lawful so we will not encourage you to do something not lawful uh, uh, two days ago when we had life uh, at the end, I think, when I was leaving, somebody says, why well, Christian can eat pork? You know, so uh, here you see, or actually I saw a comment in in, uh, in Patreon. Uh, his name, I think, Mohsen. Mohsen. Mohsen is a Muslim name. I don't know if he's a Muslim or not. So he said, why well, Christians can eat pork? So here you see that the brain of the human being, he is limited. He's worried about the pork. I mean, all the, the garbage we have in this earth, this brain now is focusing why they can eat pork, you know? So now the, the evil of this earth became in the pork. Why they can eat pork? Can you explain to me why you eat pork? And now you are in trouble. You have to explain why you eat pork. Like what the heck? You see the disaster? I mean, you ate pork. It's not a question if you can rape or not, if you can steal or not, if you can be a child molester or not. He's questioning something very serious. Why you can eat pork? And now you say, no, please, I'm going to explain to you. Please don't that put that pressure on me. I feel like Joe Biden now, you know? So uh, this is how silly and shallow a human being is. You know, you, there's many human beings. They are growing adult, but they are, in fact, they are one day old babies. Silly, stupid, dummy, and they are not yummy. Uh, I find myself always in pain, seeing how stupid a human being is. Honestly, it's painful. So, from Christmas to pork, for you know, they they try to find a way to make you to make you op like oppressed. When the Bible speak and Isaiah speak about fighting oppression, so all 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 the Bible is about fighting oppression and nobody oppress anyone and to bring justice. When Jesus says Sabbath was not made for God, Sabbath, Sabbath was not made uh, Sabbath was made for the man, not the man made for Sabbath. Uh, here he showed he showed the Jews how silly they are, how shallow they are. So they start worshiping Sabbath. Sabbath became a day. Uh, which nobody touch all right okay which is good no problem they, the day as a sabbath is good to respect but then you will notice that that day became more important than the man to the point if somebody is injured nobody can help him that is silly 
this is not what God is talking about so uh, there is people who worship the idea and they forget that this idea or this teaching was exist for your sake not for the sake of God even when the God when God says you worship me alone it was for your sake not for his sake because he's telling you I want to save you if you believe in someone else okay then you depend on him so let him save you so even that it was for your sake not for his sake because you believe in him you don't believe in him what God will lose nothing he will lose one vote he's not going to be elected anyway you know so a human being is very shallow and Islamic uh, thinking is very shallow and there's Christians too who they are supposed to be Christian they are very shallow too right uh, Muhammad is saying Christians they justify sin since Constantine well you know uh, Mr. A16 I challenge you to find me where Christians justify sins since Constantine this is another stupid answer from Abdul in fact nobody justifies sin except Islam it is your prophet who says if you touch the black stone and the Yemeni corner your sin is erased it's your prophet who says if you praise Allah 100 times a day all your sin is erased so who is the one justified sin it's your Quran who says to Muhammad may Allah forgive you Muhammad for your past and the coming sin and this is here you see how shallow and how dummy those Muslims who they try to attack Christianity nowhere in the Bible it justifies sin in fact it is in every chapter in the Quran and I challenge you if you want I can open my sky for you and everybody will laugh at you actually the God of Islam he said or Muhammad he said that in the judgment day Allah will take the sin of the Muslims even if it's mountains or the form of the ocean and he will place it on the Christian that justifying the sin which means you do sin as much as you want don't worry about it because at the end of the day Allah will place it in the, in the Christians and here you ask yourself when the Muslim they say no one should pay for the sin of other soul except the soul well, what happened to this verse in the Quran hypocrite liars following the deceiver Muhammad it is you who justify sin doing muta saying this is marriage all of us we knew hiring women for sex is nothing but prostitution it is your Quran who justify that it's your Quran who justify that the woman she is divorced three times she have to go sleep with other man to come back to her husband that is sin and you justify it you make it even a rule you make it a law so Abdul, you are in the wrong place. You are you are talking to Christian Prince. I am not the apostate prophet or David Wood or here I will smash you. I will make you shish kebab. You would not even, you know, you would be like a hair in the in, in a long highway. Nobody will even will notice you. If you want to try me, call me. You know, so everybody will laugh. Uh abusing little children is halal in Islam. Yeah, Muhammad, here, here we go. What a big sin. You know, a prophet of God, he is 54 years old, you know, and he is going after a child, she is six years old. And now the Muslim, they practice following the prophet, who is a perverted prophet, obviously, and they claim that this is marriage. But this is nothing but a, but a child abuse, you know, pedophilia, and rapist, you know. Yeah. But they were not there to call because simply he knew. You know, don't you see how dry our our like? Let me open my Skype is not open by the way. Let me open my Skype just to show you how dry the call we have. If a Christian prince is an American person, he have a blue eyes, he know nothing about Islam. The Muslims will be lined up to call him. The only one who call call us actually is the one who will not lose their career if they call. Those who claim to be sheikhs, those who claim to have knowledge, they were not there to call for a second because they knew what will happen. They will, they will, they will be really smashed. But if a, if, if a Muslim kid, he called and a Christian prince, he smashed him. What a big deal. You know, it's he's just nobody, supposedly. This is why all of them, they have one excuse. They will debate only Christian prince face to face. All of them, they share one thing, you know. Again, we remind you, please, that we have our new Bible study ch uh, channel. Uh, we have it in the in the message there in the chat, in the in the first message you see when you enter the chat. Click at that link and subscribe there. We will start doing Bible study and only Bible study in that channel. There is no debate. There is no Quran. There is no garbage of Muhammad. We want to keep it so clean, as clean as the snow. All right. 
so if you like to join us feel free and if you don't like the topic don't join you know we don't want silly talk there and actually there anyone would use a bad language we will block you immediately doesn't matter who is he christian muslim hindu jew i don't care you know this will be a bible study and we will study the four gospels what does the word muslim mean and where it comes from the word muslim does not it, it's not what you know like uh we know we spend years teaching Christians not to say cities and stuff like you know they say submission so you will see uh, as an example David Wood he keep repeating the word uh, Muslims here submission but if you ask David Wood where you get this from uh, I understand he is a person don't speak Arabic so he go and read the Muslim uh, translation and the Muslim translation says our article say submission so it says submission why the Muslim will lie right why the Muslim would say something about his religion it's not but in fact, if you go into the, to the stupid Quran, which is not organized like yellow pages, yellow pages were more, way more organized. Uh, you will find the read me the, of the word Muslim <coughs> uh, in many chapters in the Quran. But let us give you an example. Let us switch to Arabic. The word you will see that the word. Uh, submission is not really exist in the Quran uh, it is surrender and here you will see every translation of the Muslims give you different translation they shall be summoned summoned okay and then it says uh, let us change translator hold on this is Yusuf Ali let us choose another, another idiot uh, let us go to uh, Bigtal as an example. Let us see Bigtal, Muhammad Bigtal. Okay, so this see this is the word. They become Muslim. Surrender. This is the word Muslim. Is a person who surrender, not submission. There's a huge difference between submission and surrender. Submission is you. Nobody put pressure on you. There's not a, a thousand men around your house when I kill you. And they say, if you don't say this, we will kill you. Uh, surrender is somebody, he is in war and he lost the war. So he surrender. You put your weapon down, you don't fight, and you do as they say. That is what Islam is. All right. It's not David David fault. No, my friend, it is his fault. Because, you know, as long we have uh, thousands of videos explaining, and then you keep repeating what the Muslim says, and you know that the Muslim, they lie. So why is that? It's not for his fault. Right? Why it's not his fault? I have tons of videos explaining, translating, it take one second to see that this is not what it is and if islam means submission then why muhammad he have a war to convert if it's submission because people they submit willingly then right so if submission is what islam is then there is no need for war and those who want to believe believe and those who don't want to believe they don't believe but david would himself he make many videos speaking about islam it's violence islam attack to make you surrender correct to make you convert so convert here is surrender Muslim to be Muslim is to surrender, right? And then you will see the same, the same, uh, you know, the same, uh, uh, the same Quran. Well, uh, just to show you clearly that those they are surrendering, they are not believers. In chapter forty-nine, verse number fourteen, look what it says: "The wandering Arab." This is the translation of the Muslims. They say we believe. What they say? They say we believe. Okay. Say to them, Muhammad, you don't believe, but rather say, we submit. The fact here, the word submit does not exist. Rather say, we are Muslims. Do you see it? <laughs> so a Muslim is not a believer. As some, someone he submit, he's a believer. Right? So obviously here, there's a wrong translation. We change the translator. Now, this is the same big time. Look at the donkey. So you go to Hilali Khan. There we go. We just change the translator. Look, they say the, the the Arab. They say we believe. Okay, say to them you believe not. Okay, okay, they believe not, but say 
we have surrender. What is the word surrender in Arabic? Aslamna, we became Muslims. Do you see it? Qulu aslamna. When you release the real Quran, my friend, when I, I need to take a vacation actually from here so I can give it full time and finish it. The same as happened when I was working in the, in, the, in six and Allah book. Uh, you know, like uh, focusing in the translation is not easy. And I want to give it the best uh, I can because I can, I'm not going to do it twice, you know. So I want to I want to make a, I want to be sure that the translation is more than perfect. Uh, but remember, always translation will never be for perfect. Like, you know, when the same can goes for the Bible, right? Because you are using different language. But we will make it the most close to be to the real meaning. Uh, more than just little word. Uh, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? <clears throat> uh, my friend Alex, you know, the Muslim, they respond to my point, but they don't dare to call me to tell me their point. This is how much they respond is, is invalid because a person who is responding to me he will dare at least to let me call him if he don't want to call me i will call him this is telling you that his respond is not respond it's just a shish kebab all of them they are stupid all of them they are a bunch of dummies and all of them they are terminated by being intimidated otherwise who is holding anyone to give his Skype, he can go live, anyone, he can go live in his channel. Say, hey, Christian Prince, I call me. I will call right now. The excuse, I will mute him. You are on your channel, nobody can mute you. <laughs> right? <laughs> so all those excuses is just silly as they are. And you know, if you go on that to see the response of those Abdul, CP, this hadith is mentioned by Uthman. Uthman is Ben Yazid. Yazid is really know, well known to be a liar. Therefore, this hadith is not, this is a response. You are telling me that Muslims, we are a bunch of liars lying about our prophet and we write hadith written by liars? This is the response. This hadith written in sin by the guy, his name is Susu, and Susu told Fufu, and Fufu told Mimi, and Mimi told Susu, don't do say that to the game because this is a lie. What the heck is that? As long as it is you who collect the hadith, you put it in your book, and then you say it is sahih. Even you, in your in your book, it says sahih. Like, in sahih al-Bukhari. I mean, the book is sahih al-Bukhari, and then you say to me, it is not sahih. This is a response. Uh, hey, my friend, I don't show my face because none of you is worthy to say it. I am the same as Allah. Let me answer you about showing my face. Here we go. I am Allah and prove me wrong. Your God Allah, he says, I will never speak except from behind the hijab. So who is the one is intimidated? Allah. Allah dared to show his face to me. I want to debate Allah face to face because he is the only fit to my size. All of you are so short. Here we go. It is not for a human to talk to Allah except from behind the veil. Your God Allah is wearing a burqa. He is intimidated. Our Lord Jesus, he came to us. He do not wear burqa. He is not intimidated, even from death. Your God is. So all those excuses is just a stupid. People, they want to see my answers. People don't care about my face. But you know, I mean, you are just a kid. And we have enough of you. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? And you know the idea of having moderator. Why you need a moderator? Are you are you afraid the Christian prince would do something to you? Why you need a moderator? Aren't you a man enough to have a free boxing match? What is those guys who take off their t-shirt showing us their tits? Suddenly they want moderator? How come when I called Mimi Hijab, I did not ask for moderator? They did not even give me time to talk. I called. <laughs> The little Ted boy, he don't even know how to say inshallah. I have to school him about it. Did I ask for moderator? Did I ask for five minutes for me? Five. I call. He hang up on me. First time, second time, third time, fourth time, five time, six time. And he calling me names. And he don't let me talk. talk. I did not ask a question. He, always, he is the only one who will ask me and he play a video. Did you say that? Because he is so into, much intimidated. Right? So a bunch of cowards, bunch of kids, 
Do you know that you are no match? Your God is not match to me. <laughs> so guys, don't forget to uh, uh, to subscribe to our other channel. Actually, it's not a new channel. I used to teach Arabic in there, but uh, Arab for Christ. But we decided to switch this uh, channel as long as we are not using it. And I have a little number there of like 13,000 subscribers to use it to talk about the uh, of the gospel. All right. Uh, you know, when somebody he send you like, uh, if, if you notice how people they ask questions. If you notice how people they ask questions, people they quote a verse. And they said, "You can you explain to me this verse, my friend? There's no verse can be explained without reading what is before it and what is after it, unless it is about science. Let us say the baby is born like this, and that's it. Whatever before doesn't make uh, any different. The verse after doesn't make any different. So when a person says to me, "Can you explain to me this verse? What about the chapter? Why you want only the verse?" So you say to me, "My target is that verse." And that verse is uh, confusing me as an example, right? Uh, but did you quote it from a website or did you read the chapter? I bet you you did not read the chapter, right? Because if you go to the same chapter you're asking me in First Corinthian, sorry, Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians and chapter number two, you will see that Satan, he will come, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, he have a very powerful power, and uh, uh, there is a great miracles will be done, and they are false, and he will, uh, you know, deceive many people. So, what the Lord will do? What the Lord he will do? The Lord he will say, okay, those who they are following the liar. I will not even oppose their lies. Let them believe in what they want. Don't we Christians believe in a free will? Right? Don't they? So here actually, there is there is a, a two opposing uh, uh, two, two opposing uh, uh, message that there is somebody he believe and he might be punished for believing and somebody who don't believe he might be rewarded or the opposite somebody he might not believe and he will be rewarded and someone he might uh, believe and he will be uh, 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 you know getting the opposite of the first one but if you go and read the chapter you will see that when the lord he come and he is giving them a parable uh, uh, or let us say an example of of uh, 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 of what will happen so when we want to understand the chapter you have to go from the beginning and you have to read all of it and then you come to the conclusion and see what it is really about but going to a verse will not take you anywhere a verse will take you uh, you know it's kind of like what what does that mean exactly it doesn't even make sense when you read a verse by itself without reading the whole story all right let us go actually let me open the chapter here we go if you read here this is what you are talking about about verse number 11 right even him who is coming is after the working of satan which all the power and signs line wonders so I mean the, the verse here is showing you in order to understand verse number 11 then you have to go to verse number 9 so those are line wonders they are not really real wonders uh, and then and with all the this the, this uh, uh, this believeness and and righteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of truth they that they might be saved so those people, there's introduction about them, that those people did not receive the love and they did not, they are not righteousness and they have, uh, they have a disbelief in the truth. So then, and for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion 
that they should believe a lie. But because of this goes, it's not because of God. Already they are unrighteous. Already they are unbelieving. Already, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, they are not receiving the love of the truth. So here is a result of their act, not result of God sending the delusion, really. God is letting them, let us say, swim with your stupidity. Uh, that they all might be uh, damned uh, who believed not the truth, but had a pressure in un pleasure, sorry, in unrighteousness. So when you you know when you want to explain a verse, you go read a few verses before it, and that will give you introduction for the verses after it, and then you will find the reasoning. It's like saying, uh, you know, okay, I want to follow Muhammad. And God, he says to you, don't follow Muhammad, follow the truth. And then he said, no, I'm going to follow Muhammad. So God will let you with your delusion. You choose the delusion. He did not force you to. Already you are there. All right. Do we have any Muslim? Again, don't forget to subscribe to our other channel. We will study the Bible and we will study only the four Gospels. And the reason I want to study only the four Gospels, I mean, there are four books. They are, they are big to read and they will take a lot of time. For us, we as a Christians, you know, uh, uh, for sure we accept the Old Testament as part of our belief. But the Old Testament is to prepare for the coming of the Messiah. And the Messiah came. So for me, it's way more important to listen to what the Messiah says, not what a rabbi said or what even a prophet said. Like we appreciate a prophet like Isaiah, right? But Isaiah is not important for me really as much as listening to Jesus himself, because all prophets is to prepare to the coming of the Messiah. It's like, you know, uh, uh, getting busy with the Old Testament. It's like busy with those who prepare for the party which is made for a person who is coming to this party. And we get busy with those who prepare, the one who put the chairs, the one who put the tables, the one who organize it, the one who fixed the audio. And we are making an interview with every one of them. But there is only, only one person is important. All the Old Testament is about the waiting of coming of Christ. As we showed you before, even the names of the sons of Adam from Adam to his, you know, to 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 Noah, all of them, uh, and uh, childrens, all of them, they preparing for the coming of the Messiah. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us to tell us something about Islam? You see, we have no topic right now. So you can call me and you can open a topic for me about your religion. Anything you want. Maybe you can prove to us that Muhammad is really is um, a prophet, if you wish. Uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, when the Muslim they speak about other religion or other people, they are pagan. As, as an example, Muslim they say that uh, Hindus are pagan, right? And uh, Buddhas are pagan, and even Christians are pagan, whatever they say. But in the same time, you look at the Islamic religion, you see Islam is based in paganism. They go around the place, they bow down to that place, they kiss a stone, and they believe that the stone erased their sin. And yet they accuse everybody of being pagan. And the excuse is, that we believe in one God, who cares if you believe in one God or not? You see that the, the, this is something we have to repeat to show you how shallow. Like when you will see two, uh, uh, two uh, people debating. One is a Christian, one is a Muslim. The Muslim, he will debate you about Trinity. The Christian, he try his best to prove it to him. Hold on, who cares about, about this anyway? Because if there is a Trinity or there is no Trinity, if there is one God or is no one God, the question is, is this God you worship is true or not? Right? If there is a Hindu, he worships 35 million gods. And they are true. So he's a, he's a winner. <laughs> Who cares if they are one or two or three? Are you going to tell God how he can be? 
You know what I mean? So it's a silly argument about we worship one God as they as if they have like they 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 won the lotto. You know, you worship one idiot God. There's no your God is one, but he say that sperm coming from the backbone. Your God is one, but he believe that women have a sperm coming from the ribs. Hmm. You are a student of Imam Murrah? Okay, well, I don't know. You see, the Muslims, the Muslims, they are supposed to be smart. Do you remember when they said to me they could not find my introduction, the book of Six Allah, in the in my in my book in the in the Muslim reference? Christian Prince, he is lying. We cannot find the introduction, and now they cannot find Imam Murrah. So Christian Prince is lying, and then we get them busted. We have a media video, and we show the reference from their Islamic website in two seconds. Coward son of Muta. I am a student of Imam Murrah. No, you are a student of Imam Aisha who used to scratch the sperm of dry sperm of a man who was masturbating in the house of your prophet. Aren't you even ashamed? The wife of the prophet was scratching the sperm of a man masturbating in the house of, his, of her husband. And she said to him, let me teach you how to do it. I used to do it this way for the prophet. I scratch it with my nails. <laughs> what an education. What a news. Breaking the news. The wife of the prophet scratching the screen. What? Hmm. This is how silly they are. Imam Murrah. You know, if you are a man, call me and talk about Imam Murrah so we can laugh. Do you dare? You don't. Tell your mama. Those who make uh, videos to supposedly expose me, why they don't call and dare to talk about anything they say? Because they are very much intimidated. They are little girls, not women. Women can be brave. Muslim men are not. Hmm. Do we have any brave Abdul? My Skype is open. Look how coward they, they know this cowardness. Cowardness. Any Abdul? The Muslim is worried. Hey, Christian Prince, where we can find Imam Murrah? Okay, let me ask you, where we can find Israel? There we go. Just to show you how stupid you are. Israel, we have a book, it's called the Quran. I challenge any Muslim to tell me who is Israel. Who is Israel? The stupid Quran keeps saying, Children of Israel, children of Israel, children of Israel, but not a single time says, who is this guy, Israel? Any Muslim can help us? Who is Israel? Is he Imam Murrah? Any Abdul? Just to show you how stupid this book, shouldn't you tell them? Who is this guy, Israel? Suddenly he speak about Israel. Okay, who is Israel? Any Muslim can tell us? Any Abdul? I will shave my 25, 26 foot beard if a Muslim can tell us who is Israel. Yeah, he is Jacob, but this is from the Bible, right? So who is Israel? Any Abdul? Who is Israel? We don't know. So, you know, what is what this religion is about? Just to show you another stupid thing in this religion. Every single Muslim in his YouTube, he says the Christians are, they, they don't have a, you know, the, the Bible. It's corrupt. Don't they say that? Okay. How you stupid you say that our book is corrupt and your stupid God keep calling us people of the book. Look how many times. Look, 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 look. It's endless. Endless, endless. You know, it's really endless. Literally endless. Look at this. People of the book. So how we don't have a book and you keep calling us people of the book? Who is the donkey here? Hmm? So we are people of the book and you are not the people of the book. So who is the pagan? 
When you say we are the people of the book, which means we are the people of the book of God. So your stupid God, he keep witnessing that we are the people of the book of God. It's not you. It's like saying to Sam Shamoon, the guy with the hair, but the guy, he don't have any hair no more, supposedly. So why you call him the guy with the hair? So either you are a liar or your God is a stupid, choose one. I guess both. People of the book, people of the scriptures, but the Christians, they don't have scriptures no more, brother. We invite Borat, Herman, Mr. Borat. What do you think about the Christian the corrupts in their book? You know, stupid. You, you brought Borat, an atheist, to fight your Quran? They are so desperate to the point they go after Borat. They call Borat. Hey, Borat. Can you help us? Hey, Borat, he came. And then after they got Borat, he Borat, he said to them, well, I have uh, yellow pages. It is, have no contradiction. Any Abdul? Huh? How come the Quran did not call you people of the book? Didn't he send you the Quran? How come when we say in the Quran, people of the book mean the Jews and the Christians only? Only. Let your Borat help you. Any Abdul? Any Muslim? Well, there's no need to say you want to call me. You just call, you can text me. Text me first. If you call first, you know, we can take your call. Let us see this guy. There's no sound. How come? Hello? Hello? Hey, hold on. For some reason, there's no sound. Let us see why. The sound in Skype, I mean. <clears throat> Let us be sure. <coughs> okay. Why this thing is not working? Let us go to audio in Skype. Okay, let's see now. <coughs> and the speakers, default speakers. <coughs> let us see now. We try to call him. Still there is no sound. Hold on, I don't hear the ring. When I call. <coughs> Maybe we should restart Skype. Oh, hold on. Maybe here there's a problem.
one two one two all right now it's working here let us see skype sorry guys uh, all right now it's working hello hello do you can hear me yes my friend you are live on air are you yes uh, no no uh, first of all, it's a honor to talk to you, Christian Prince. I watch many, we watch many of your videos. Uh, thank you that I can speak to you now. I have a question because I watched a video of Pierre Vogel. You know him? Yeah. Um, he made a video of your book, Allah's Deceive, okay. where you made fun of Allah because uh, the story of Musa, where he punished the people. Hmm because they were afraid to fight the giants. Hmm. You made fun of Allah in this. Uh, I don't have the book. I want to uh, read it myself, but I don't have it yet. Hmm. And yeah, you made fun of him. But then he showed us the exact same story in the Bible. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? No, it's not the exact uh, same story. But uh, you what wrote is, What the exact same story? They told uh, Musa that there were giants in that. I don't know where Musa uh, let mm. them go, but there were giants and they were afraid to fight against them. Mm. And then you made fun of giants. Mm. Uh, and then Allah punished them 40 years. And then you wrote uh, there. Yeah, you see, the first only of all, way this, is, this is not what is my book is saying. You can go and read it. It's why you said you, you, know, you did not have my book. If you go in the Quran, here we go, we put it in front of you, you will see. And when we read, we read Muslim interpretation, right? We will see that the Muslim, they say that Allah, he order the Jews to go and fight, <coughs> and take the Holy Land, right? Mm -hmm. And next time, if you want to call me to talk about this topic, then get my book and read for me what it says there specifically about what he is saying. So we can understand what he is saying better. But if you go yes, to you chapter will. five, chapter five, verse 21, it says, oh, my people enter the Holy Land and, uh, you know, uh, which is a sign for you. And then the, the, the people, they said to Moses, we will not enter that land because it have a people who they are uh, mighty of power. And then only two people, they join Moses in the, in the, in the fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, the story, uh, remember everything Muhammad he take anyway, is, is coming from somewhere. Here is coming from the Torah, or is coming from the tradition of the Jews, or the fictions, or the legions of the Jews. And some, they are coming from the Sabi, and some, they are coming from the Christians. So Muhammad is a fraud who copy from others. And when he copy, you know, he add his own spice, and that make the story stupid. Yes, mm. but... Uh... The two person who uh, agrees with Musa were the only two persons, mm. and in the Bible there were also just two persons. The rest of the persons uh, in the Bible, also in the Quran, mm. Allah punished them uh, forty years. They okay. uh, he let them okay. in the do desert. You, do, you go, remember, do you remember uh, the verses? You know what the, I mean? do, do you remember the verses from the Bible about it? The one he mentioned. Uh, that was Numeri chapter forty. It's yes, I remember. It was what? Uh, the book Numeri, the fourth book of Moses, I think, chapter 40. It was the fourth book or the fifth, the fifth book, about, but I think the fourth book, chapter 40. Book Numeri? Yes. The okay. rights there were. Yeah. I don't know, like, you know, in Arabic, we have different uh, words for the names. Uh, anyone knows what he's talking about with exactly the name? Uh, no, Mori, I don't know. You mean, the no, Mori, the uh, you mean in the Bible? Yeah, what is... It the, was the fourth book of Moses. Okay. Chapter 40. Uh, 14, 14. Sorry. Fourth books of Moses, chapter 14. Yes, for that time. writes the story. Okay. Where they went to the land and come back and uh, said, yeah, they are mighty people. We don't want to fight them. Okay. And then uh, the Lord God talked to Musa, uh, mm -hmm. Moses. And yes, then he punished the other people who didn't want to fight 14 years.
Hmm. Okay. Yeah. The first pure book. Fog. Yeah, Pure Fog showed the story in the uh, what you that you mentioned about the Islamic story in your book, and then mm -hmm. you showed this story from the Bible. Well, until yeah. now, I could not really find the verses you are talking about. Uh, yeah, if you read was... chapter 40, the first book of Moses, yeah. okay. uh, some first. Yeah. yeah, the first book of Moses. Hold on. 40 Nishtof, or 14? Not the first. 40 uh, or 40? Not the first book. Uh, chapter 14. You said the first the... book? No, the fourth. Uh, four. One, the two, fourth? three, four. So, the, the fourth. Yes, my English is not good. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Well, I remember I made a video to answer this person. Yes, someone told in the comments, but uh, I didn't saw that video. I watched that video from Pure Fogu just yesterday. And I thought uh, directly, uh, why? Because he, uh, how he made the video, it looked like he made fun of Allah. But in the Bible, there's the exact same story. Yeah, and I'm a Christian. Yeah. I, well, you need to read for me they, what, what, what he's saying. I didn't understand why. No, you know, you need, you, know? To, you need to read for me what I said, and you need to read for me what he said, and then we will laugh, because still we mm. will laugh. Now, hold on, let me try to see. Okay, and uh, I remember he showed the sentence in your book where you, uh, where you said, the only way Allah loves you is uh, when you, if you are not afraid to fight against giants, no, the only way Allah loves the Jews is if they uh, are not afraid to fight the giants. But Yahweh, uh, Yehovah in the Bible, it's like you, you know, could first of say all, the first, same. No, no. You know what I mean? First of all, because they disobey the Prophet, not because they are not, you know. And here, the, what Muhammad he presents in the story, you will see that Muhammad is presenting that uh, God, he ordered them to take a land, and this is not their land anyway. And this God, he did not even tell them why they have to enter the land and why he had to convince them. Now I'm trying just to find the verses you are you are quoting for me. Let me. I'm just trying. Hold on. Mm, do you mean the from the verse from the Bible? Yeah. Yes, like I said, it was chapter 14. Uh, yeah, there's nothing the called fourth. chapter 14. You are not giving me even the name of the book. I'm trying just to find out what you meant. By yeah, it, I by said the, the fourth book of Moses. Yeah, Moses has. Fourth book of five Moses. books. Yeah, but he have a but yeah. he ha have a name, right? So did he say to you the fourth? Book because your English is not good. Yes, the fourth book. Okay. Yes, and the books in the Bible they have chapters. Fourteen, fourteen, and yes. verse. The verse. Uh, it it begins uh, in chapter forty. To, from the first verse to. Forty or I don't, know. I don't know what you are talking about. Forty. Can you tell 14, me? Fourteen. Fourteen, brother. One four. Okay, and the verse is? Uh, from verse 1 to verse 10, I don't know anymore, but okay. it starts first one, uh, verse 1. Okay, hold on. So, fourth. He, he showed a screenshot uh, from a photo from your book. Uh, in that photo, we could see just well, one You see, because, it, you know, when you say the fourth book, that will be the book of numbers. Is that the book he mentioned to you? Yes. Okay. So why you did not tell me from the beginning? Because you keep saying to me 14 and 14 and you know. Yeah, I, I wanted okay. to say the fourth book, the chapter 14 of that book. Okay. And what verses he mentioned again? Uh, again, verse 1. Verse 1? Verse 1 to wait. I have to look in my Bible. Uh -huh. Um, it begins first one that uh, that the story begins where the people go to the land and uh, some verses later exact same uh, God punished them for 40 years and yeah he showed that in your book what you made fun one? of you know, I mean, anybody understand what this guy is saying what verse number one brother uh yeah. In the the pure fog, he made the video. I understand. You keep he, saying the same thing. Yes. Okay. In verse. Yes, brother, okay. If we go to the book of Numbers, verse number one. Yes. Okay. Verse I, number one. 
okay. of the fourth book of Moses. Well, I have verse number yes. one. It doesn't say. It doesn't say what you are saying. Yes, well, in verse number one, the story begins. It's, oh, the uh, story begun. Oh, okay, mostly okay. the whole okay. chapter. Okay, and where I it said says it starts and, okay. verse one. Okay, and continue. Um, I look where this with the forty years punishment says, mm -hmm. but. I have to search it now. I just watched mm -hmm. it uh, in my bed. I don't remember, but you know the story in the Bible. My friend, this, the story is in front of me. I'm reading it because what you are saying is absolutely not true. Brother, I, I checked it in the okay, Bible. I don't know what me. you said okay, in let your us book. Read, let us read the verse together. Read it. Go ahead. Okay, uh, here, verse 26. 26, go ahead. Uh, that's German. I have to translate it in English. Okay. The Lord uh, spoke, spoke to, to Moses and, and Aaron. Okay. Yes. And I heard you? what. The, uh, um, one moment, please. Hmm. Yes. Oh no. Hmm. Yes. Uh, verse thirty-four. There it says forty days, uh, and because each day one year, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the same punishment. Well, we know, you know we, we said many times that the Bible is, we, we know that the, the, the God of the Bible, he punished the Jews and he did not let them go to the land for 40 years. It's not a secret. But what the Quran is saying yes. is a different story. Read with me carefully. When Allah, he says, oh, my people, enter the Holy Land, which Allah has assigned to you, right? Yes. Okay. What they said, they said there's people of mighty power there. This is why we're not enter it, right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> and then, we, if we continue reading from verse number 20, uh, 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 verse number 20, 21, 22, uh, uh, God, he's saying to them, I showed you your, my miracles, you know, for many times, and you tried me many times, and uh, and they will not see the land which as I promised for, pr promise for them. Those who mm -hmm. they, uh, insulted me, they will not enter the land, right? Yes, yes. Okay. I think I understand. What is, what is the reason in the Quran they will not enter the land? I don't know. Oh, what, no, what do you mean? Uh, 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 the verse in front of us. Because uh, I'm not in YouTube. Uh, you mean because they were mighty, the people of that land? All right. But why did not? So did, did he uh, in the Bible, does it say the same reason? No. Okay. So the Bible says in verse number 23, they will not see the land which as I promised for them, all of those who they insulted me, they will not enter it, correct? Yes, correct. All right. Here in the Quran, they did not insult Allah. They said to him, yes. how we want to fight people who we cannot win against them, right? Yes. So did Musa in the Quran says, well, Allah, he told us we will have victory. Don't worry about it. Did he say to them that don't worry, Allah is fighting with us? Did he say to them that this is a, you know, all what the Musa he said to them, all my people enter the Holy Land, which is Allah's sign to you, and turn not your back. But he did not say to them, to them, Allah told me that you should not turn your back, otherwise you would be a loser. Same time, uh, where the Jews, they insulted Allah. They did not. They did not even mention the word Allah. They said to him, how we can enter a land, have a, have a people of mighty power, who we cannot win against them, obviously. Read carefully, verse number 22. They said, O Moses, in this, in this land, there is people of a greater strength, and we shall never enter it till they leave it. When they leave, they will enter it, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the, the people of Musa, they did not insult Allah, did not say anything about Allah. They said to them, well, you know, how we can, if Allah assigned to us, which is mean, if he assigned to us, well, why he don't let them leave? We cannot win against them. They are people of mighty power. It's like now saying that a little tiny country is going to fight USA. How we can fight against them? They will lose. So they did not mention Allah. They did not insult Allah. And there is no insult. There in the Bible, there's those people who they insulted God. Mm -hmm. They said they will not enter the land. Those people, they will not enter the land. Secondly, in the verse in the Quran, it says, two men, they say, let us, uh, let us attack. But what two men can do? I mean, who is a stupid here? Yes, you're right. right. But in the Bible, it says that there is people who they are agree with Moses. Those are people who will be promised to see the land and they will enter it. 
but yet still he cannot win the, the war with, uh, with, 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 the, with the people because if they are two people, they cannot win any war. Who in the world would believe that there's three people of Moses and two servants or two, uh, let us say, followers, they are going to win against an army? Yes, of All course. Right? Okay. So yes. if you go in the Bible in verse number 26, then God, he says to, to and actually if you see in the Bible, you see in the Quran, it says Moses, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, where is Aaron? There's no Aaron in the story. Yes. If you go yes. in the Bible, you will see that God, he spoke to Moses and God, he spoke to Aaron, which means the message was both for both, not only for Moses. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, because, and even the Bible described that those people, they are evil people. Those who they are not obeying God. And then he says, uh, uh, you know, you, you will die in the desert. But here in the Quran, those people, they did enter the land after 40 years, right? Right. Okay. If you go to verse number 33 in the Bible, you will see that your children, they will be a shepherd in the desert for 40 years. They will suffer because of your dishonesty until all your bodies collapse in the desert. You will be punished for 40 years by the days which you don't, you know, like you explore the land with. 40, 40 days for 40 years. Okay, if we go in the Quran, where is the story here? Do you see the 40 days? Do you see the explanation? You see, no. No. Okay, now we continue. Uh, Moses, he, in the past, in verse number 36, he sent men to explore the land for 40 days. And they were complaining, which means they complained for 40 days. All right, and they came back right. with, with land full of disease and full of you know, and there's no water, etc. etc. So they were unhappy with the mission Moses, Moses he asked them to do. All right, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then you go to the Quran, you will find none of that. So, and then suddenly, you know, the Quran, uh, you know, jump from the story of being in the desert for 40 days, suddenly, suddenly he is jumping. To the story of Adam, the children Adam, uh, 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 Abel, and Cain, right? But what does it do have to do with, with, with Moses? Did, did, did Aaron betray Moses? Uh, no. Okay. So the whole story does not make sense because Muhammad he took it from the Bible. He caught, you know he misquote, he played with it, and he had his own fiction. Now, if we go That's back to that, thing. if we go back to the verses, where in the Bible it says that there's two men they will fight with Moses. Uh, nowhere. Okay, but in the Quran, but you are the one who said to me that this guy he showed you from the Bible that there is two guys they will fight with Moses. Yes, he just mentioned uh, two people. He didn't said what no, they no. do. I no, I didn't in, thought about Quran, it carefully. See, okay, but it's you. It's you who said to me, to me the point. The point is, I, you said, you said that I said in my book that look like this God. He will not like you unless you fight for him, right? Right. Okay. Where in the Bible it says go and kill those people here in this chapter? You're, you're right, Christian Prince. Sorry. No. I didn't thought carefully about yeah. uh, that. So, so you see here, he, he told them to enter the land, right? Yes. Okay. Right. Then, but in the Quran it says assault those people. Yes. All right. So when Big we read difference. here, yeah, when we read, we will see. And then there is two men. They told uh, 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 Moses, two men who don't fear Allah. They said, "We will not, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, let us go and attack them, even in the gate." You know, the word assault is 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 is, is not a, a messed up translation. This is the Muslim translation. Let us ask, like, let us attack them on the gate, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's an attack will be done by three men. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Moses and two men, you know? Yes. So is, is that really what happened? You know? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So uh, I, uh, all, what the, all what the Bible says, that the, in verse number 25, it says those giants, uh, 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 and when we say giant, doesn't mean they are like in the movies, like they are, you know, uh, in, <laughs> Like Adam, he was uh, 35 meter tall or 60 meter tall. So here, 
you see those the the Kenya Kenya and the and the uh, gi uh, giant they are living in this in this uh, valley all what he is saying to them go there and you will I will make you inherit the land he did not say attack he did not say launch a war he did not say do anything he said just go there mm -hmm. is that correct it's correct here we have an attack and then the attack became more funny that there's two men and one guy his name is Moses they are going to attack a nation of giants but the promise yeah. in the Bible that I'm going to make you inherit which means I'm going to let this nation disappear Mm -hmm. which means if they even if they go in war with you they will not win so yes and remember at that time here if you if you read in the Quran you will see there's a gate there's a door so the, uh, according to the Quran they are entering a city yes okay but if you go to verse number 25 and the Bible says and those giant and those Kenya Kenya they are living in a valley so turn your back then turn and go tomorrow toward the desert through the, the way in the Red Sea correct correct all right and uh, so so the story is story different when this guy he is quoting he is misquoting we know that Muhammad is copying we know that Musa's is a theft from the Bible don't we know that yes we know okay the one Muslims even know what Musa's mean they don't know you know <laughs> do they know what yes. Abraham mean no so they are copying all those stories from the Bible and Muhammad he have his own version of the story which will make it funny so now we have two guys are they smart really are they obeying Allah because why they want to attack a city full of giant with a guy his name is Moses if 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 Moses and two men they can do that then they do not need to run from the Pharaoh yes <laughs> because they can fight the army of Pharaoh by themselves two men and one Moses that's it yes but what happened the whole nation of Moses is running away right right okay why because simply there's a weakness they cannot fight the, that the Pharaoh so they needed the miracle of God so they can win against the Pharaoh correct yes otherwise those poor people who they were slaves they are no match to fight an army like the army of the Pharaoh yes yeah so when the, <clears throat> so when the Muslims they make they make uh, you know when you when you asked me in the beginning I was really the fourth the 14 number 14 for I was I want to understand what you are saying uh, but all of us we know that God he punished the people of the Jews for 40 days for 40 years for a reason in the Quran why it's 40, 40 years nowhere it says why why because Muhammad yes. is a thief yes and because the Quran is a stupid book right away he jumped from 40 <laughs> days 40 years of Moses lost in, uh, people lost in the desert Right away, jumped to Kabul, Kabul and the uh, and, uh, king. But Mo Moses, his brother, did not betray him. Right? Mm -hmm. So what is the connection? Yes. There's no connection. Why? Because somebody is making things up. And then he jumped right away and he go back to Israel. <laughs> <laughs> After he speak about children of Adam. So uh, the, the, God of, uh, the, the, the God of Islam, which is Akka Muhammad, Every single story about a name mentioned in the Bible is coming for sure from the Bible or from the Jewish tradition. We know that. As an example, yes. when when uh, uh, when the Muslims they made fun of uh, uh, of Israel struggling with God, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we find that Moses he did fight the angel of God, <clears throat> and he did hit him in the eye, and he take his eye out, right? right why Muslim they find it very strange and very funny to fight with the end with, with, with the, to have a struggle with God or the angel of God but they don't see a struggle and fighting between a man his name is Moses and the angel of death is funny same time when the Muslim they say to us <coughs> children of Israel <coughs> sorry I'm losing my voice okay. if we search the word <coughs> Israel in the Quran we will find it's all over the Quran. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. How many Muslims they made videos making fun of the verses in the Bible about God or the angel of God fighting with with the with the with Jacob? Millions of videos, including Didat. So Didat he said to them, 
the, your God is fighting with the man, <laughs> you know, but because the idiot did that, he in his book, he did not know what the word Israel mean. The word Israel is the one who fight with God or struggle with God. So when the Quran adopt the name, he adopt the story. Before you call me, I was saying, who is a Muslim want to tell me what Israel mean? They didn't know. By accepting the name, you accept the story, which is in the Old Testament, which the Muslim refuse. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes, yes. So when this guy, he lie and he say, well, the Christian prince is making fun of the, you know, in the, in the Quran, when the, his book is saying the same, nowhere in my book is saying the same. This is a fabrication. Yes. Anything else this guy, he said to you? No. Okay. Well, but I hope. you told me that if I listen carefully and thought about that, what you said carefully, I would understand that he fabricated, but I didn't. It was my uh, well, Just mistake. put the two chapters next to each other. Open the uh, Quran, open the Bible, and put them next to each other. And you will see, you just read carefully. You will yes. see the story here. It doesn't make sense. You know? Yes, you're uh, right. Actually, God should not should not reward those who they are atta attacking a city only to men. You know, God should say to them, this is foolish. You know, you will cause Musa to yes. be killed. You know, Musa and, and two other men, they are going to attack a city. And city have giants, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. so the Muslim, they try to find an excuse. <clears throat> and you see, actually here in the translation, you see in the Muslim translation, even they are adding the names. And where they are adding the names from? Where, where those names is coming from in the Quran? It's coming from uh, the Jewish scriptures. Right. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, uh, whatever, whatever Muhammad, whatever Muhammad he say, is always a story from somebody else. Always, always, no matter what. Yes. We cannot take what Muhammad he said uh, without looking back where he is coming, where where he got this one from. Uh, here in the translation, as you see in the front of us, it says Joshua and Caleb, or Caleb. Okay, where are the Muslim they got those names between two brackets? Any Muslim can tell us? They will tell you we stole it from the Jews. <laughs> so, okay, but is it this is really what those two guys they did? Is it really what the Bible says when he says to you it's in the Bible? Let us read together. Anything else? No, so in the Bible, the conclusion in the Bible, there's nowhere here it says go and attack, attack uh, this, those, this. There's no city, first of all. It's a valley. They live in a valley, you know, and go and live mm -hmm. in the same valley. And I will make you in a hurry. This is the promise. Those people here in the, in the, in the Bible, uh, uh, you know, they, you know, they don't want it to go there. And uh, God is wondering why why you are even refusing. Didn't you see what I just did to you? I split the sea for you. Didn't you see how much I support you? Did I ever fail you? So the promises I gave you, it come to be true. And now I promise you this land. And yet you don't believe that is going to come to be true. Yes. This is why yeah, the Bible right. says those people, they insulted God. Why? Yes. Because after all what he showed them of his miracle, it's not like people who saw no miracle of God. He just saved them from mm -hmm. the Pharaoh. And yet they are worried about going there because there is people who they are people, uh, uh, you know, they are uh, living in that land. If you go actually in verse number, uh, uh, verse number uh, 22, uh, it says those who they saw my glory and all my miracles, which I made in Egypt and in the desert. And they, they, they tried me tens of times, and still they did not obey me. They will not see the land. So here the argument is, the Bible is saying, because they disobey me, and obey me from what? Go and enter the land. Right? Right. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> uh, 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 when the Muslims they make an excuse, you know, I made an offer for this guy a long time ago to call me and debate me. Correct? Do you know? Do you know that? 
Yes, yes. Even okay. your uh, if he description. Is brave, if he is a brave, he can quote for me exactly the same and show everybody that Christian Prince is lying or he's, he's stupid. Why he did not take the opportunity? Yes. And now I ask you yes. to go and ask him if he is a man, if he dare, if he have the courage, instead of talking to himself in a video, well, call a Christian Prince and let us see. And you can quote for him anything you want from his book. And let us read together and let us see. Yes, you're right. Yeah. So I, uh, anyway, I thought I I was anyway sure that uh, it was my fault that I understand it false. I knew it, but uh, I don't. I didn't get it. You know, it seemed like he was not. He was right, but you know what I I was sure that you are right, but I didn't get it. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I you know, watch many we, of your we, videos. You made me a strong in my belief in Christ. Yes, just uh, shocked me that I I didn't get it. Sorry for my English. No problem. But I think you know what I mean. Yeah. And then if you go, actually, uh, if you yes. read, uh, 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 if you read the, the 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 rest of the story. Uh, you know, you can continue and you can flip the chapter after and you will see uh, that those people who they are living there, they attack the people of Israel, right? So uh, uh, the, the, the topic here is that God, he promised them and God, he showed them miracles and God always supporting them. And still the Jews, they don't want to trust God. In the Quran, in the Quran, the story have nothing to do with what we mentioned in the Bible, you know? Suddenly, Musa is saying to them, All my people enter the Holy Land, which Allah is saying to you. And then they said to him, Oh, Musa, we have, you know, there's, there's people of strength there. Shouldn't Musa say to them, Well, so what? Isn't it, the, isn't it God who uh, support you? Isn't it God who showed you miracle? The Quran, there's no, the story is cut off. And uh, because it's cut off, the guy who was making just a, a rap songs, you know, which is very silly. And uh, he he like he missed a huge part of the story, and then the story doesn't make sense. Yes. And if you ask yourself here now, and this is the question I want to give to the all, all Muslims, uh, if you read the if you read the Quran, you will see that because they said there is no, uh, we will not enter it as long they are there. As long they are there. Okay. So. The funny thing about the Quran is that this God, don't he knew that the people who live there, those are going to become Muslims? <laughs> and they will become Hamas? So why Allah is creating a problem to take Jerusalem, to take, to take the land, the Holy Land, in whole? Don't he knew that the Jews are the one who will be cursed and the Muslims are the one who will be blessed? So what this drama is about? So here you see that the God of the Muslim is a stupid. The God of the Christians is promising the Jews to be blessed. Yes. And now the Muslim, the Muslim, the same Muslim, they are asking us to leave the land because this is the land of the Palestinians, right? Yes. Okay, but the Quran here saying, because you refuse to take the land, Allah punish you and put you for 40 years in the desert. And not only that, the one who refused, refused to kill the Palestinian, Allah, he called them Fasiqeen. Fasiqeen mean the most filthy. So based on the stupid Quran, if you don't kill the Palestinian, you are filthy. But the Muslim today, they have a different story. They say to you, if you oh, kill the man. Palestinian, you are, you know, this is human right, you know, against the, you know, what, what, what is justice? But so what is justice here then? So we are making fun of the stupidity of the God of the Quran, the God of the Bible. He promised them the land, go and take the land, and he gave them the land. The God of the Quran, he gave them the land. Now he don't want to, do Allah want them to leave the land or not? The Quran says no. Uh, right? Excuse me? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so yes. should, we, should we leave Doesn't the land? Doesn't make sense. Should we leave the land now? No, the Quran says no. Otherwise, Allah will make them go lose their way for the desert for 40 years. Even if they have GPS. <laughs> you know? So, and yeah. then 
and then okay Allah he forbid them to take the land for 40 years did the Quran says how they took it back how they took the land nowhere what what why the story stop where is the rest of the story have you ever heard of a stupid story like this okay Allah it's like telling your kids a story and then in the middle of the story says now we have to go to sleep second day they ask you well, continue the story it says what story well you told us they lost their way in the desert okay so what happened next what what is the story <laughs> oh man huh yeah this is i don't know yeah so there's no story in the story it's just a stupid book <laughs> yes so when a muslim and he's try to 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 uh, to be smart tell him we know that your god muhammad is stealing from the bible this is not a secret for us we know that he have no idea who is musas we know that okay musas if you ask uh, uh, if you ask uh, the muslims you you heard that the muslim saying i think this guy himself he have a video about it about the pharaoh did he have a, a video about the pharaoh i don't know yeah i think i saw a video with title of a pharaoh so if you ask the muslims who is the uh, they say there's a scientific miracle in the quran uh, because the quran called uh, called the pharaoh pharaoh and the one who was saved it was ramses the second hmm? i don't know if you saw any video like that uh, i don't i i didn't saw yeah so they say how the quran knew that but the fact the quran don't say the pharaoh is a name of a sorry is a king the pharaoh is the name of the person who is a king yes i saw the video of you <laughs> yeah and not only that you know if you go and search uh, uh what is the name of R ramses the uh, second what is the name of his wife you will see that his wife was Nefertari. nefertari nefertari I hope I'm saying that yes. correctly. You can search who is the wife of the. Uh, let us see. I will, I will search on Google. Wife of the uh, Ramses the second. Okay, here we go. The wife of Ramses the second is Nefertari. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> According to the stupid Muhammad, who is the wife of 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 of, of, of uh, 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 this uh, this person, this uh, Ramses the second? She is Asiya bint Muzahim. Asiya bint Muzahim. Let us go and find the hadith. Asiya bint Muzahim. So how it is the same person, but Muhammad he have the wrong name. You see this you see how we got the uh, uh, so all the story which is stolen from the bible all of it is a fiction and muhammad he add his own stupidity yes and actually muhammad he was a promised uh, uh he was a promised the wife of pharaoh to be his wife i mean why this guy want to want to want to sleep with the wife of the pharaoh yeah, I saw that you mentioned that in one of your videos. That's crazy. Yeah. So, my friend, I want you in the future, uh, if if a Muslim he really have the courage, says to him, as long you have something against Christian Prince, you can prove it, and you can make everybody not to listen to him. Why you don't call him? Yes. Do this guy speak English? I don't know. I think so, but he speaks Arabic. Well he, well, he can bring a translator with him, no problem. A Muslim translator. <laughs> yes. You know? And then, yes. he, you know, he can call and people will laugh either at me or at him. All right? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, anyway, any, any other question? No. All right. Thank, Thank you, you very much for calling. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, you know, uh, uh, Muslims, they come with their own, uh, you know, supposedly he got something. But and let us say for the sake of argument, let us say a Christian prince was wrong in that point. I have a book. All of it is full of garbage about Muhammad. So this is the only thing you find in the book is, uh, you know, can you use against Christian prince? <laughs> 
So the rest is fine. As long as you have a book, you should have tons of things which is not right. Uh, even Muhammad, he says, the, the women who they are the ladies of heaven, one of them is Asiya bintu Muzahim. How you know how the wife, how the wife of the Pharaoh, her name became Arabic name and her father is an Arab. Muzahim Asiya. So why the Muslim in their videos don't mention to us a new discovery that the wife of Ramses it was a Siyah bin to Muzahim, not Nefertari, which is a daughter of a king. Do we have any Muslim? I see some Muslim trying to call actually. <clears throat> Let us see. We will mute the sound. Hello? Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Huh? Are you a Muslim? Yes, I am a Muslim. All right. What do you like to say to us? Go ahead. Yes, uh, uh, I don't do accept your, your microphone. Your microphone is not right, my friend. Can you do something to it? There's too much noise in the background. Hello, is it okay now? Okay, well, but there is some noise. I don't know what what is causing the noise. Uh, Are you using a headphone? Yes, I'm using headphone. Is it okay? Yes, I'm a Muslim. Okay, now it's, it's better. Okay, go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Go ahead. You're welcome. Yeah. Hey. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us while you are calling? Yes, it's um, this. What? Okay, I don't know. We lost him. Uh. Let us try to call him again. <clears throat> again, just a reminder, don't forget please to subscribe to the other channel where we are going to do Bible study starting from this coming 24th of December. If you care to join us. Yeah, I don't know. Coding with this guy is not working. I will try again. <coughs> Am I heard? We lost connection. Can you hear me? I hope so. Yeah, we lost uh, internet connection for, for maybe 20 seconds or so. I just tried to call this guy again. <clears throat> All right. Yes, Mr. Afzal. Your name is Afzal? Okay, my friend, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Yes, now it's fine. I mean, there's a, a, a bad uh, noise, but it's okay. We can understand you. <clears throat> Go ahead. Well, the Quran says Jesus will save me. Okay. Uh, are you are you really a Muslim? Okay. 
Really? Hmm. Okay, do Muhammad have the power to save you? Who? Hmm. Okay. Uh, only Allah can save you. I see. Okay, let's see if this is true or not. Uh, do you have the Quran with you? Yeah? Okay. If we go in the Quran, you know, it says that those who believe in Jesus, they are saved. And even those, uh, those who they are Sabian, like the Hindus, like the Buddhas. Well, the, okay, but the Quran says that the Christians believe in uh, that Jesus, he is Allah. Okay, let us see the Quran together. Let us read the, let us read the Quran together. Chapter 2, verse number 62. Can you read for me? You cannot hear the uh, hold, hold on people they cannot hear you hold on uh, sorry guys for some reason i don't know what's wrong with the internet here uh, let me fix the audio of the caller uh, well we heard the previous caller right guys so how come now you cannot hear this guy okay Uh, let's see no wait you know wait wait people people are complaining saying they cannot hear you so we are trying to find out why they cannot hear you huh okay uh, let us see talk now Okay, go, go ahead. ahead. Okay, okay, I think, I think now they can, can hear you. you. Go talk. Uh, still, your hold on, hold on. Still, still I think actually, actually your voice is still not coming. It's my voice only. I see. see. There is something wrong here. Let's see why. <clears throat> okay, talk now, please. Go ahead and talk. Hmm. Yeah, now, now, now they can in, hear you. Go ahead. So, indeed, okay. the faithful. Okay. The Jews, the Christians. So, uh, no, repeat your question, please. Repeat your and question. And the Sabians. Repeat your question, please, because people they were not hearing you from the beginning. So, what was your question? You said to me, "Do you think Jesus can save you?" Right. Okay. Repeat my question. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Repeat Do your question. No, you think I'm that Jesus can you. save you? Okay, I said to you yes. that yes, Jesus can save you, even the Quran says so. And now we are reading chapter 2, verse number 62. Go ahead. Indeed, the faithful, the Jews, the Christians, and the Sabians, hmm. those of them who have faith in Allah, Hmm. This is the condition who have faith in Allah. Hmm. And where the last is, where, day. Where it says who have faith in Allah? And the last day. And they try to no. You see here in translation it says whoever believes in Allah. This is false because it says and those who believe in Allah. So this is addition. If you change the translator, you will see different. Just to show you. Actually, I choose the translation here, translation here, just to show you how Muslim they lie. When you translate, I will just change the translator. I'm not changing the Quran. Verse number 62, let's go back. Read with me carefully. You see, we just change the translator. It says here, and those who follow the Jewish scripture, and the, and the Christians, and the Sabian, and any who believe in Allah. So the Quran saying, any of those, he is going to go to heaven. Change the translator again. Here we go. Because Quran is a joke. Muslims, they play with it. Sahih International. Let us see on Sahih International. 
indeed those who believe and those who are uh, were Jews or Christians or Sabian, you know, between two brackets they say before to Muhammad, this is not exist in the Quran, this is a lie. It's speaking about now. And and those who believe in Allah and the last days, this is a false translation, it says among them, that's false. Change the translator. You see how, how the Muslim they change every single translation is different big time. Lo those who believe in what's revealed to Muhammad, which is the Quran, okay, and those who they are Jews and the Christians and the Sabian, whoever believe in Allah and the last day and uh, 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 the right, change the translator. <laughs> what a joke. Muhammad Asad, verily those who attend the faith, attain, attain the faith, this is what the Quran says, okay. And the divine right, as well as those who follow the Jewish faith and the Christians and the Sabian, all who believe in Allah, what, what all it says, and whoever and, and 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 those who believe in Allah. So the Quran in Arabic is so clear that if you are a Jew, you are fine. If you are a Christian, you are fine. And if you are a star worshiper, Sabian, you are fine. So how you say to me that Jesus cannot save you? Even the God, those who worship stars, stars can save them in the Quran. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Okay, how the Sabian will be saved? You see, I will let it go about the Christian and the Jews. How in the world the Sabian they will be saved? You can go right now and search and you will see the Sabian are people who worship stars. Those are the same people who Abraham, he says to them in the Quran. Abraham, he said to the Sabian. Remember, Abraham is born in Iraq, right? Is that correct? Hello? Abraham, Hello? Is, bo Abraham is born in Iraq, correct? Whatever Sabian, Jews or Christian, the basic condition is that they have to believe in Allah. No, no, no. There is no basic condition. It says here clearly. Don't there is a condition. No, my friend. No, my friend. It says, and whoever, and whoever believe in Allah. So the Quran doesn't say, if you believe in Allah, you will be saved. It says, those Christians, the Sabian don't believe in Allah. <coughs> the Sabian, they don't believe in Allah and they have nothing to do with Allah. So how, how this is, will, will be... If, uh, 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 the condition to believe in Allah. Do the Sabian believe in Allah? Are you with me? Sabians will get there only if they believe in Allah. But but that will not make them Sabian then. <laughs> if they believe in Allah, so then they are so not. If they believe in Allah, that, they that means they are, that, they, they do, if they so are believing, believe if they, my friend, the, the, if they believe in Allah, that means they are not Sabian. So the same person, if he believes in Allah, then he doesn't remain the Jews or Christian also. So, uh, okay, I will go with you then. If somebody believes believe in me. Allah, so how are you stupid Quran? Okay, you are the one who answer me now. If somebody he is a Jew or a Christian, he don't believe in Allah also, you said that. So how somebody, he is a Jew, you call him Jew and he believe in Allah, doesn't make sense. How he is a Christian, you, you believe in Allah and you call him Christian, doesn't make sense. How he is a Sabi and you call him Sabi and he don't, he don't believe in Allah, and doesn't make sense. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. <clears throat> the voice is uh, echoing and two, three voices are coming when you are speaking. So, what's the issue? I don't know. Maybe you have two browser yeah. opening. I'm not sure. Well, I'm not so, sure why. Okay. Hello? Yes, hello. Yeah. So what we will do now, you say that those who they are a Christian, if they believe in Allah, they should not be called Christians, correct? Yes. Okay. So how because the Quran says, in... Okay. So how because the Quran called they... them, 
so how the Quran called saying the Christians they are going to go to heaven if the Christians they don't believe in Allah it's you who mentioned that not but me the condition is that they has to believe in Allah so that will not make to them heaven. Christian no more that will not make them Christian and it's you who said that that will not make them Jews no more that will not make them Sabian no more so why we call them Sabian if they are Muslims why we call them Christians if they are Muslims why we not call them Jews if they are Muslims see because the, if one has to believe in Allah then mm. the basic tenets he has to believe that no one has the right to worship but Allah so all others be, believe like say Christianity likes believing someone other than Allah or Sabians believing someone other than Allah like stars that get dismantled no? No, so if one Quran believes says, in because, Allah now because the Quran when the Quran says the Sabian that means they are they are called this name this is not an ethnic Sabian are not an ethnic. Sabian is those who believe and people they call them Sabian. This is a name of a religion. So the Muslim they try to, to, to come with a, a interpretation says, oh, those are people who left the faith. What faith? Christians, they believe that Jesus is God. Even the Quran says that the Jews believe that Uzair is son of God. So how those people they will go and be in heaven, if we go in the Quran, you said to me, if I ask you now, is the Christians today, are they following the true Jesus? No. Okay, if there is a single Christian following the true Jesus today. How will you know no. that one is following Jesus? So nobody now. Because Jesus, so do we, because do the, Christian Jesus have, has, do the Christians have a single uh, uh, Bible is correct? It's the same Bible of Allah he gave to Jesus. No. No. So let us read together the stupid Quran. The Quran says that I know, I you know, know, I know those verses which he will point out to me that uh, ask the Christian who are in doubt for Muhammad. I know no, that verse. No, I am, the, no, this is not the verse. You're I'm just, quite acquainted. No, with no, this. this is not the verse. This is not the verse. I'm quoting different verse. Hold on, hold your horses. So here it says, I, Allah He says to Jesus, I made those who follow thee victorious until the day of judgment. Those who believe in Jesus, they will be victorious until the day of judgment. Okay, so how how the Quran says that those who believe in Jesus, they are going to stay believing in Jesus until the day of judgment. But I ask you, if there is a single Christian who followed the true Jesus, you said no. I ask you, if there is a true Bible right now, we have a single Christian have a true Bible, you said no. But the Quran yeah. says, those who follow Jesus, those who believe in Jesus, I will make those who follow thee superior to those who reject the faith to the day of resurrection. That means that Christianity must be preserved until the day of resurrection. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, this is not what you are making out. Those who follow Jesus it can mean Muslims also because. Jesus, no, you don't follow. What you don't, you don't follow. No, Muslims I, are not. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the verse. No, no, was I, given. This is the verse. Not this is the verse on. given to Jesus. Secondly, you Muslim, you don't follow Jesus. You follow a book of Muhammad. Do you follow the uh, Do you follow the book of Jesus? Whether the book of Jesus or book of Muhammad, every no, book had no, the same message. Follow, only. No, unfortunately, follow, no, 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 no. You see, you see. Unfortunately, those, read, read, read the verse carefully. It says, "Those who follow thee, not follow Muhammad." He doesn't mention the name Muhammad. So if he is saying those who follow Muhammad, then it's the one who follow Muhammad. It says those who follow Jesus. So you have only to follow Jesus. So those who believe in thee, they will be superior. And this is a, this is a statement Allah, he says to Jesus in his time when he was between us. So I will yes. make those who follow you superior into the day of judgment. So definitely. OK, so who, who so, was at so the who, time of Jesus? So yeah. Jesus never preached anything wrong. Jesus what he preached, he preached the same thing about one God. So any prophet do you believe preached in one the God? same thing. Do you believe in one God? Yes. How he is one? He is one absolute, the eternal. Okay, so how he is one, but he keeps saying we? It may be a language usage, but he is the one and single only God. So are you saying to and me, then. Allah is using the wrong language, he should not use it? No, no, it, it may be an Arabic grammar, I don't know if he has 
There's you nothing in Arabic grammar. In Arabic you... grammar, it's when you say we, it's mean we. When you say I, it's mean I. The same as okay. any language. So, so when Allah can, he say we, Allah is the one God. Oh, Allah, Allah and His Messenger. Allah, Allah and His Messenger. Allah, God is is one, Allah is the one God. And you Muslim, yeah. you believe in one God, right? Right. Okay. This one God, he keeps saying we. Okay. Is he a fool? Okay. No, no. Then, okay, he can also use we. The we will mean actually God and his messenger. Because oh, the God and so, his messenger has become plural. Okay, wonderful, but God guys. is one. Okay, God wonderful. So, one. guys, guys, uh, 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 God and his messenger. So, when Allah he says, we send down the rain, Allah and his messenger send down rain. When we say we send down thunder, Allah and his messenger send down thunder. No, no. When we say, when and Allah, he says, hold on, it's you who said that. When Allah, he said, no. we send down the Quran, it was Allah and Muhammad, they wrote the Quran. Now, now will you allow me to respond? Yeah, I'm making comment about what you said. Yeah. In this context, when Allah used, we send down the rain, we send down the Quran, mm. that times Allah is not using we for Allah and Prophet, but Allah and angels. Because it is the angels who bring down the rain or the angel Zibrail who brought down the Quran. Ah. So different uh, mm. point of time when ah. Allah used the so, so, so Islam is persons. not so Islam is not an act of one God. Islam is an act, it is of, act of it is act of one God only, but messengers are used to deliver the message to us and okay. angels are used for services like bringing down rain, bringing down the message of God. Okay. Okay, so I want to ask you a very simple one. Do Allah have a wife? No. Girlfriend? Hmm? Girlfriend? No. All right. Do Allah says if he wish to have a girlfriend, he will take it from ourselves? As far as I think, no. Allah okay. doesn't have a... Read for me chapter Surah, 21. Surah, Surah, Surah Ikhlas. Read for me chapter 21, verse number 17. If wanted, the word uses if, but if are if only, if are not reality. You, I would suggest you to read, read Surah read, Ikhlas, friend, read, chapter read, 112. Read, my friend, read. Yes, I, I, I don't read care it. about the F now. Continue reading, read, read. read I have read it had no, we no, intended to take a past time i want you to read we it we could surely so, take it from us if okay. we were going to okay. do that i want you to focus with us we surely we have taken it from us who is us allah will take a partner now allah will take a partner she is a female wife who is us Do you Muslim believe in the Trinity? No. Okay. Do Allah have a cousin? She's a female. She's no. pretty. Okay. So Allah no. will now will take a wife and he will take us from us. He will take her from us. It could mean uh, either from prophets or angels. So Allah will marry a prophet? If. So Allah, if, will, uh, Allah will sleep with Muhammad? If. No, no. It is written if. Do but have, if he is if only. No? Who care about if? Uh, if actually make it more horrible because now if if it's mean possible. If, so if, Allah, is if making, is, Allah is putting the condition. If I want to take her, I will take her from this between two brackets. Correct? Okay, so now what is between two bracket? You said to me, a prophet, your your Allah will, prophet will, or angel. Your Allah will take a wife. His her name is Muhammad. No, why Muhammad? How can he be a wife? Well, it says there he's talking a wife. Past time, the word lahu in Arabic means 
women in the in, in the in the Arabic language lahu fun the Quran is insulting women saying they are fun I want to take a lahu I will take a woman from us so you are saying to me the angel is the angels are females they don't have any gender no oh, okay what do you mean you don't have gender who said that they don't have gender in Islam is Jibreel he or she Um, as far as I've heard that angels do not have gender. Okay, what the Quran says that the kuffar, they say that uh, the kuffar claim that angels are, you know, uh, females. Kuffar, kuffar claims, no, but... Okay, but you are the one who said to case. me... But it you is are, not the case. But you are the one who just said to me, maybe Allah will take one of the angels. Okay, one of the angels or one of the prophet? Uh, one is, of the women. Is, is, is any of the prophets in Islam, they are females? Yes. There's female prophet in Islam? Yes. Name one for me, go ahead. Mother Mary. Who? Maryam. Maryam is a prophet? Yes. She was sent to who? She was a prophet. Really? Prophet Maryam? Yes. Where you get this from? She's a prophet. Okay, what are you gonna the only female, the only female prophet. Uh huh. She, she was the only what, female prophet. Okay, what, in Islam. Is, what is the prophecy, Maryam? She said. Why do you need a prophecy for a prophet? How you can be? How you will become a prophet without making a prophecy? So are you saying to me that Allah is saying if you want to marry a woman, he will marry Maryam? Yes, could be. Ah, uh, okay. But in order to marry Maryam, he have to be a human being like her. But the verse says, if and if is not... Doesn't matter, but he is giving you the possibility. Is I'm saying now, if I want to marry, I will marry, let's say, a, a woman with dark skin. That's when I made the condition. That's the only woman I will marry from. If she is, she have a dark skin. Okay, that's mean I will not accept anything else. So if here is just about the condition of the kind, but still the kind doesn't make sense because especially the Quran says us when the Quran says we will take it from us he didn't say just uh, uh, as you claim Mary he says from us so in order for Mary to be qualified she have to be from the kind of Allah when you say us you mean what you mean me my people right mm -hmm. okay so is, Ma is Mary human or she I is she is God She's human. Okay, so she is a human who became God, maybe, or a God who no, became no. a human. Okay, so how no. Allah, no, how Allah that. will take Mary as a wife and uh, describe it as it and us? Do you see the word it? Mm -hmm. Is Mary an is, is Mary an it? Do you, you do you call a human it? Humans are human. This is not a question. When you use, when you, when you speak about an animal, do you, do you use the same for a human? Do you call a human it? Do we use the word it for a human? Um, where will we use it for human? Okay, so what? See, even if it means that he could have taken not, it from us, hear, from humans. I do not hear you. Do you use the word it for a human? Uh, why not? Why not? Okay, they will, we, we will let it go then. Why not? So, it, it, so the, the one is it and from us, what is his nature? Whose nature? Allah's. No, the person who Allah will take as a partner. Allah will never take because... <clears throat> In Surah Ikhlas, it is mentioned first that he does all, not have first partners. Of all, first of all, Allah never said, we will never take. He says, if we will do, we will do this. So it's, will, it's, it's, it's possible. He did not say, I will never do. It says, in kunna fa'ilin. 
So, but if we want to do Surai class, it is mentioned specifically. Now that Allah does not have this any partners. Not not don't jump to short Why for? We will go there because we will laugh at it too. Because this is another stupid verse in the Quran. But here, when Allah He says, "When I take a partner, and He will take it from us," how many Allah there is? There is only one Allah. So how He will take a partner from us? It doesn't refer to many Allahs from okay. whom when He will say, take a partner. When you partner. say us, you speak our English, right? I'm not asking you to know Arabic. In Arabic, it says the same. لو أردنا أن نتخذ له ونتخذناه من لدنا. Okay, so. But when we say us, we mean a group. Like when we say us, do you mean your cat with you? Okay, so if you have a cat, let's say you are talking to me. Let's say now you are talking to me and your camera is open, and you have a goat behind you, you have a donkey, you have a cow. Then you say us. Do you include by the word us, you and the goat and the donkey, or you include you and your wife and your children? Okay, just now shall I respond? Hmm. Even if it is like that, then Allah can create a. One from himself, like oh, okay. him, and he can take it five from there also. Okay, so, so Allah is capable guys. of that, but so Allah, if he, he can create, if he wants, the okay. but the condition okay. is if he wants. But that's a good point. Allah, guys, he can create one like himself. This is what he said. Allah, he can create another Allah, and that Allah will be female. He right? can do that. Okay, Allah he can, can do, do that. that. Okay. So he Allah, can, but he okay, will but let not me, sure. But let me let me show you how silly what you said. Because if he wanna create, he will not say from us. That's mean the, the one he is going to take is already exist. You are saying Allah, if you want, he can create another Allah, and then Allah will make that Allah, uh, uh, will will marry that Allah. Oh, that's wonderful. But here it says will take it from us, which means that persons or those persons are exist already. It is not something he will create. No. There no nobody exists and you only but say Allah us, has the power say, when you say Allah us, my friend, when you say us, when you say us, you are talking about someone is already exist. You don't say I'm going to create us. Mm -hmm. He can create, but it is not there it's that it is something is there. Did he say did he say from something I will create in the future or he said from us? Us, it means we are exist already. Us. Mm -hmm. There is no one existence with Allah. Allah is absolute eternal. Question. You are, you are but just you are, jump, you are jumping like a rabbit now. I'm asking you. No, no, no. Well, he said not us, is us is is us is a group of uh, of uh, whatever they are. Are they exist or something will be exist? Will be exist. But can we, be exist. But this is not the Quran. Be. Is stupid. Not will be. If can they, if can they will, be exist. If they will be. Neither they, existence they, nor will if be. If they will or it can be will exist, then the word us is wrong. Because there's no us yet. See, the Quran was not revealed in English, and uh, I do not know the yes, Arabic. Who, who care about the English now? I mean, you know, I'm just showing yeah. you the Quran. In Arabic, it says the same. If we wish like to take uh, our women for fun, we will take from us. And then he says, if we want to do so, and he kept repeating, saying we, if we and, uh, want to do so. Arabic words have multiple meanings. So you cannot assign one what meaning. Multiple meaning? Okay, meaning. Okay, now, now to solve it, you know, you, you as a Muslim, you are struggling. In the beginning, you say this is maybe a, he will he will marry a prophet. Then you says maybe an angel, and now you are saying to us, us Allah will create Allah. Look how you jump from place to place to place, trying to help this Allah. To see make this. What does this? See, see, just listen to me. Hmm. I'm not jumping. What does this us means? Actually, I don't know. I guess it can be angel. It can be people. Or Allah can create also because Allah has power over all things. But although Allah doesn't create, Allah yeah, is one if, only, and if, He has maintained His monopoly, if, and He's absolute. If Allah us. is absolute and eternal and single, okay, and so, nobody so is partner so in Him, saying, and nobody can share so Him. So you are saying that one of the us or those us are people created by Allah. Hmm. Are you saying that? So. What because of this ayah you say you think this this uh, Islam is a uh, polygamous means there are multiple Allahs you think because of this ayah? Well, you are the one who said to me if Allah wanna marry he will marry Allah he he will create another Allah. It's you who said can that. create. He can okay. Can. So but he said means from us that means that means there's already many Allah. 
because he said no, from no, us. He, he, didn't any say, he didn't say from okay. what I will create. He says from us. I will take okay. it from us. They already exist. Okay. So you. If suppose Allah gives this kind of answers also in Quran, if there would have been multiple Allahs, gods, there would have been fight between them. One would have said sun will rise from the west, okay. the other one would have said sun will rise from the east, well, this and is they would have okay. fought. This is exactly and okay, the thank you. Would okay. have broken. This, but this is what exactly what happened. Let me ask you. Uh, you say it now, and everybody is my witness. If there is many Allah, then uh, each Allah will say something different. They will fight. One will say the the sun will appear from here, or etc. Let, let me ask you then, which one Allah created first, the mountains or the sun, and the lambs, the stars? Uh, I do not know this from the Quran, but Allah created in order. Let us go to the Quran. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I am losing my voice. You know. Uh, let us go to the Quran. Let us go to the Quran. Hold on. Let us go to the Quran. According to the Quran, I will show you the verse. <clears throat> and I want you to read and you tell me the meaning. Because Did you read the verse you, number? Because you are you are the Muslim, not me, right? Chapter 2, verse number 29. Read it for us, please. Let's <clears throat> It is he who created for you that the earth contains. Then he turned to the heavens and made them seven skies. Hmm. And he is knower of all things. Hmm. So based on this verse, which Allah created first? Which one Allah finished first, the earth or the heaven? <clears throat> earth. Earth. Are you sure? Yes, okay. I think so. Okay. So yes. guys, he is sure that Allah finished everything in the earth first. And then he went to heaven. He started walking in the heaven. He's right. This is what the verse saying. But remember, you are the one who said to me, if there's many Allah, they will start fighting. One, he says something. The other one says the opposite. Let us go. We go to that verse in the Quran. We will find Allah saying something against other, against other Allah. Uh... <clears throat> Read this chapter for me, chapter 79, and you can read it from verse number, if you want, uh, 20, uh, 27. If you read from before, you can read from verse number one if you want, no problem. In chapter 79, verse 27, it says what? Read for us on the screen. <clears throat> Can you read? Just a minute. Okay, go ahead. Let me hear you. Hmm. Verse 27? Yeah. You can read any verse you want. I mean, I'm just... Is, just to cut, is to your cut the creation cheek. more difficult or okay. that of the sky? He has built it. Okay, okay, and then verse number two, after that, 28. He has raised its heights, mm. then made it proper. Okay, and after it? And darkness, its night, and brought forth its daylight. Okay, and then after that? And after that, he spared out the earth. Okay, and after that? From it, he brought out its water and its meadows. Okay, and after that? And firmly fixed the mountains. Okay, so look what happened now. The verse I showed you, chapter 2, uh, two verse 29, I asked you, which one Allah he finished first, the earth or the heaven? You said the earth. Correct? Actually, this is what the verse is saying. Allah created everything in the earth, and then he went to the heaven, and then he started walking in the heaven. But in chapter 79, it's the opposite. Allah, he finished the sky first. He made even the day and the night, which means the lamps, the stars. He created the sun. And then after that, he started walking in the earth. And after that, he made water in the earth. And after that, he created mountains. 
No, 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 no. What do you mean, no, no, read it. Here we go again. Take huh. your time. Yes. See, the, the verse where you are saying that Allah uh, made earth afterwards, it's not there. It is said, what do you mean spread after, out. What, what do you mean afterward is not out. there? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean not, uh, not there? It says, no, no, no. here we go. Read with me. Read with me. Read with me. Ver, verse number 30. Does it say, and after okay. that, he spread the earth? Spread, spread does not mean made. Doesn't matter. Still, he's not fun. He's, he's not done. Hold on, hold on. Spread, listen, listen, guys. Listen, spread, listen. Who cares? Who cares? Listen, listen. In the verse twenty-nine, ch 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 chapter two, verse twenty-nine. I said to you. I said to you. Who you Allah? He finished. Who way. Allah finished first? Who Allah finished first? You said the earth. It's recorded. I'm saying in this seventy-nine. You already, you already said. Did you say chapter twenty-two, verse twenty-nine? That Allah, He finished first the earth, yes or no? Did you say yes, that? Yes, I said that. Okay, I'm so still finished, saying that. So He finished the earth. The earth is finished. He created Will you listen everything. now? Everything. He created Will everything. You listen now? He created everything in the earth. That's what the verse is saying. Correct? Hello? Will you listen now? I'm listening, but I want to confirm. In chapter 2, verse 29, did Allah say, yes. I created everything in the earth and then I went to the sky? He created, but he did not spread. He spread the earth no, later on. Okay, okay, hold on. Creation so he, and spreading is different. Okay, but he said no. He created everything. So how? So Allah created Creating. the water. He, Allah, he created the water. He placed the mountain, and the earth is not flat yet. Created is different, and spreading is different. Okay, we will go with your game. We will go with your game. Let us go to different chapter in the Quran, so we will love. Here we go. You are just cornering yourself. So I want you to confirm right now. That according to you, Allah in chapter 79, he start working in the earth, spreading the earth and creating mountains after he finished the sky, correct? Correct. Okay, I want you to repeat again, guys. I want you to say that Allah, I want you to repeat after me. In chapter 79, Allah, he finished the sky, he created the mount, he created the stars, and after that, he started working in the earth. And after that, he made the water. And after that, he placed mountains. Say that. Yes. No, say it. Repeat it. Yes, first he created the earth. Then he turned to heavens and made seven skies. Okay. No, no, this is not a question. You see, I'm listening. I'm asking you, the chapter 79. Chapter 79. Yes, 79. Okay. Allah, he first created the sky. Then he made the day and the night. And after that, he went back to the earth. To spread it out. To it was already out. created. Okay, no it problem. Was created. Guys, okay, to spread it out, no problem. And then, and after that, he made the water, right? From it, he brought water okay. and meters. So, so the water is created after he made the earth flat and after he created the sky already, correct? And he made the day and the night, correct? Correct. Okay. So now in two seconds from now, I remember, let me ask you about the mountains. And the mountains he made, it. that means the last thing Allah he did is the mountains, correct? Hmm. The last thing yes. Allah he created the mountain. You said yes, correct? Yes. I okay, see. people remember. The last thing Allah He made is the mountains. Let us go to different chapter in the Quran. Which chapter? You will see. Which chapter? You will see. Here we go. I will it on the screen. Read for me. Chapter 41. And let us love together. Verse number 9. Chapter 41. Hmm. Read, read. Just a minute, it's taking time to open. All right. Hmm. 49.9? Yeah, so you can start from wherever, but this is where the, the creation created, so it started. Tell them, hmm. O oh Prophet, do you indeed disbelieve in him and assign compares to him who created the earth in two days? Okay. He is the Lord of all beings of the universe. Hmm. After creating the earth, 
he set up firm mountains on it hmm. bless it hmm. and provided it with sustenance hmm. in proportion to the needs of all who hmm. seek hmm. all this was done in 4 days hmm. then he turned to heavens hmm. while it was all smoke <laughs> he said to heavens and the earth come willingly or unwillingly hmm. they said here we come into being in willing obeisance hmm. Hmm. Now you need me to explain this. No, I finished the last one. Which one? The last verse, twelve. verse twelve. Then he made them seven heavens hmm. in two days, mm -hmm. and revealed to each heaven its law. Hmm. And we adorned the lower heavens with lamps hmm. and firmly secured it. Okay. All all this is from plan. of the almighty the all knowing so i asked you just two minutes ago what is the yes, last sir. thing allah he created in chapter 79 you said the mountains correct mm -hmm. what is the last thing allah created in chapter 41 mountains in chapter 41 the last thing allah created the mountains yes okay let's go and read together here we go are you trying to for yourself or what we need to be careful here we go the first thing allah created in the chapter 41 is the earth in two days and then he made the mountains so it was number 2 and then he rose up to heaven And when he says here, by the way, chapter 10, he placed the mountain, he placed the mountain, and then he made all the substance of the earth, which means water, trees, etc. So number two is the mountain, number three is, uh, is water and trees. And then, then he went up to the sky, and the sky was a smoke, there's nothing. And then he made them seven skies, and then he made the lamps. So the last thing Allah created is the lamps. Mm -hmm. so, so what you are no. saying to me here is the mountains. It is not. No. Krishna, Krishna, Prince. Ah, Krishna, yeah, okay. Uh, Prince, what name shall I call you? Prince? Krishna, Krishna, yeah. CP Krishna Prince is your Krishan. better name, so yeah, I. Krishna, yeah, okay, go ahead. Ah, okay, Krishna Prince. Hmm. So, see, uh, read it carefully. Hey, read it carefully. Go ahead. So, yes. what what is the first thing Allah He created in chapter forty-one? Give me one by one. Earth. Earth. Okay. Then what is the second Ended thing? He, what is the second thing after he created the earth? He did number two. Heavens. No. Read verse number ten. Heavens. No. Read verse number ten. Verse number ten yeah. is the mountain which was created in a fourth day. Before that, the heavens once created along with the earth in two days. What before the? Hold on. So it says here, Allah He created the earth in two days. And he hmm. placed mountains on it, and then he went to the heaven and he made the heaven no, seven no. heaven. Correct? No, 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 no. What do you mean now? <laughs> After creating the earth, hmm. he created the heavens. Where, where, where you get this from? Okay, hold on, created. hold on. Okay, so we know, we know already. We know that. Allah after he created the earth okay i want to go with you so Allah after he created the earth he created the heaven can you be consistent and say yes yes okay guys Allah after he created the earth he created the heaven repeat it please one more time yes after Allah okay. created the earth Allah created the heavens okay wonderful but we just showed you the other verse say the opposite what's wrong with you the, the thing wrong with the, me the verse before it chapter 79 it says Allah he created the sky he made it high he day made day and the night and after that he start working in the earth and after that he start making water 
and substance like trees and grass and after that he put the mountains and I am the one who asked you what is the last thing Allah did here you said the mountains Yes, definitely. Okay, let us go back. Definitely, I repeat the same. I, like I repeat definitely. the same. Okay, so Earth, here, here, Earth what, is what, is the last, what is the last thing Allah he did in chapter in chapter 41? Mountains. Where it says that? Here, read with me. Yes, see then, the number then, of... Do you, know, do you know how to read English? It says, then, then, then he completed... Then, then is... Then is... Okay, mm. okay, so will you let me explain? Okay, go on. Then is... I know it is written then 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 is everywhere written uh -huh. but after the creation of the earth uh -huh. the skies was created along with that in two where, days where you where, where you come into me it's created along with where you get this verse show me the verse it says Allah created the sky along with along with isn't it the same verse I showed you you said to me Allah created the earth first it's you who said that Yes, because it is written here two days, and in two it's days, not about two days no, forget about two days. No, 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 no. The first verse I take, showed you, take, chapter two, chapter two, verse twenty-nine. I asked you the question many times. According to this verse, which Allah He created first, you said, the earth. Yes. Okay. I still say the same. Does it say here He created everything? Does it say that He created every? He, no, hold on. Does it say He created everything in the earth? No, read he it. created the earth. Read it. And then spreading was done later Don't on. Lie. Read it, read it. It says he created everything on earth. Read it. He created for you all the that the earth contains. Okay, all okay. the earth contain. What earth contain? But spreading was done later so on. Did Allah create the mountains when he says all what the earth contain? Yes or no? No, mountain material was there. But mountains was created later on, on fourth day. But it says all that in earth. Yes, everything, the everything mountain, does what it, material say, was needed, does say was on, there. Does it say on or in? Contains. Does it say in it or on? It's not, does it contains. doesn't say contain, it says on. Everything is on the earth, correct? Everything the earth contains. Okay. Okay. What, what do you mean the word earth con and contains? It says everything on the earth. No, 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 no. See, Christian. Okay, Abdul, what translation you are reading? What translation you are reading? Uh, why you call me Abdul? I didn't call you James. What I translation? Call you... Because all of you are Abdul liars. All of you. Here we go. It's in the front of you. It says on. And in the front of you, it says on. And you say it's contained. I will go with the contained. Give me the translation you are, give me the translation you are reading. Mufti Takius Mani. Mufti Taki Uthmani, I never heard of this guy. This is I knew. Mufti, I cannot find him. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can find this Mufti so we can laugh more. So, you want me to show you Mufti Taki Uthmani, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, Mufti, let us see. Mufti. Mufti Taki Uthmani. Uthmani. Quran. I'm just trying to find it. Give me a second. So we can read together what you are reading. All right. Mufti Taki Uthmani. All right. Let us go to Mufti Taki Uthmani, guys. We are trying to open a, a Muslim page. Let us see <coughs> if they have it. Uh, they don't have. They have just an article about the Quran, about his Quran translation. Uh, All right, we have Mufti Taki Uthmani, but this is look like it is a BDF. Uh, uh, what page in the in the BDF? Do you know? Do you have a BDF or you have what? No, it's uh, Quran.com two twenty nine font. Quran Quran dot com Quran dot com. Yes. Okay, let me go to the Quran.com. Okay, Quran.com. Slash two twenty nine. <clears throat> Quran two twenty nine. And then we go to Uthmani. Let us see. Uh, 
Give me a second, please. Quran.com. Okay. And now we go to translator. Mufti Uthmani, the C Mufti Uthmani, Muhammad Tariq Mufti Ta Taki Osmani. Is that the one? Taki, right? Taki? Yes, Taki, Taki. Okay, wonderful. -A -Q -A. Okay. So let us go and read what Mr. Mufti Taki Osmani is saying. Sorry, it's taking me time because I'm trying to find. No, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Take yeah. your time. Okay, here uh, we go. I, I found it. Okay, read it for us. It's yeah. in front of you in the in the screen. Mm, I cannot see. Hmm. It is He who created for you all that earth contains. Okay. Then He turned. To the heavens and made them seven skies and okay. he is the knower of all things okay so allah he made i will take this is this is this is an, this is something we agree upon right the translation you will mm. not you will not say to me i don't like this translation no more mm -hmm. okay i will open the same the same translator give me a second i will open a new page for the other verses Let us see. Okay. So now this is other translation. Translation. This is chapter seventy-nine. This is chapter seventy-nine. This is the translation you choose for us. So you have no problem with it, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, let us read. It is your creation more difficult than that of the sky? Has he built, correct? He has built it, yes. Okay. Then he raised, raised it high. Then he made its proper, correct? Correct. Okay, so Allah, he finished now creating the, uh, uh, the proper of the sky, correct? Correct. Okay. Verse number 79, 29, it says, mm -hmm. And darkened the night and brought forth the daylight, which means the sun is created, correct? Mm. Okay. And after that, he made the earth flat, correct? Spread out the earth. Yeah, spread is making it flat. You can, I can show you. This is flat. The ha, ha I mean flat. So, you agree? Allah after that. Allah after that, he spread the earth, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then he brought water in it, right? Mm -hmm. And the meadows, which mean the, the grass and the trees, correct? Correct. Okay, so let us make a note now. The water, the grass, the trees is created after Allah, he finished the sky. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then after that, he made mountain firmly fixed, correct? Correct. Okay, and I am the one who asked you, if you remember, I ask you, what is the last thing Allah he did here? You said the mountains. Do you agree? Yes, I do. Agree. Okay. So the last thing Allah he did is the mountains. Let us remember that. Now, we go back yes. to the verses which you choose. For, you know, you, you, you said you agree with the translation. It's Allah who created that everything contains in the earth. Is the water was contained in the earth? Yes. Okay. It was contained, but it was not brought out later. It was brought out later on. What did you brought, uh, brought out later? <laughs> you said to me, in the beginning you said, Allah spread. The, your, your point was he spread. And now the water is a problem again. So I no, ask no. you, I ask you. you remember, I, you, no, I just, I just no? ask you. I just ask you. I just ask you. 
here, here, what's wrong with you? I just say to you. Uh, let me give Allah, you an example. Okay, did I say, to, did, did you agree that Allah, he brought the water and the grass and the trees after he finished the sky? You just said yes. Yes. Okay, so, yes, I... so after he finished the sky, Allah, he brought the water and the, and, and the grass. Do we agree? Yes, I do agree. Okay, so after he finished the sky, remember that. After he finished the sky, I want you to repeat that. Yes. Okay. Let us open. Guys, you see, and people, they say to me, I don't have patience. <laughs> okay. Let us open the Quran again. Lord have mercy. We will go to chapter 41. Mm -hmm. Madness, denial will not work, my friend. People are laughing. People are dying for laughing. I never. Okay, I hold never on. Denied. Okay, hold on. Let I us see. Denied. Okay, let us see. You, I just no, make you, you are, you are working in denial. Okay, I want you to read for me. I never denied. This is a chapter I 41. Did. This is a chapter 41. Let us go back. This is a chapter 41. And those are the verses we are talking about. Let me put them for you in front of you. Remember, I just repeated asking you that. Do you agree that Allah He created the waters and the grass after He finished the sky? You said yes many times, correct? Yes, I still okay. say yes. Wonderful. So here we go, chapter 41, verse number yes. 10. It says, He made mountains. And, and he he and he made all the substance of the of the earth. Is that including the water or not? Read carefully. He has placed four mountains in it, towering above it, and put blessing in it, and proportion it foods therein in four days. Okay, Equal that's mean, for that's those mean, who ask. That's mean we have trees and grass, correct? The food. <laughs> okay, food, and water. And okay, so now yes. it's confirmed. Okay, then, 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 in your stupid Quran, the translation you said, then he went to the sky. I just ask you, which one Allah he finished first? You said Allah, he finished the sky first, and then he made the water and the grass. Here, yes, the sir. translation you accept says, then, then he went up to the sky, and it was a smoke. And then he created the stars. So, read the verse 12 also. Yeah, this is verse number 11 and 12. I'm showing both. So, he accomplished them as seven skies in two days. Hmm. Do you read it? After number what? of days? After what? Number of After what? After he finished the grass and the trees and the water. After he finished those in four days, it's then, no, no, then, no, no, read no. carefully. This is your translation. Don't tell me no. It can, this it is can also mean... After don't he me, finished don't the earth, it can also days. mean. Don't tell me it can mm -hmm. also mean. It is you who agreed. I asked you a After thousand times. I asked you a thousand days, times. Do you agree? Days. I asked you. Do you agree that the I grass agree. and the water never... were created before Allah? He, after he finished the sky, you said yes. After he finished the sky, I asked you three times. After he finished the sky, do you agree that Allah created the grass and the trees? After and the water, you said yes. Yes, I still say yes. Okay, so after Allah, he finished the sky, Allah created the grass and the trees. But here it says the opposite. He says... No, it doesn't Allah, say the opposite. It says that. It says, it says, then he turned up to the sky and the sky was a smoke, which means was nothing. Do you see the word smoke? Yes. Okay, smoke means nothing. Open Ibn Kathir, we say to you that the smoke, the smoke was in heaven because of the smoke coming from the earth, which means there's nothing in the sky. And then he made them seven skies in two days. And then he made the lamps. Is that correct? Yes. So which one Allah finished first? First Allah made earth, then Allah made sky. Take care, take care. 
if somebody don't want to be honest there's no point of talking to him I mean you idiot you just said the opposite every two seconds why are you are calling me hello why are you why calling are you me you are, you are a liar you are you are I am you not a liar I am explaining it correctly said, and you, you said are... to me you said to me that Allah created the I still the, said the same I, uh, no you did not say the I same am it says I'm here, explaining it, says it to here, you it says correctly then, and then, you are then, taking then, it wrong then, then. okay let's, let's, let's make it simple did Allah created the sky before the water yes or no and the trees yes Allah created the sky before the water Yes. Allah created the stars before the water. Yes. So you're stupid. Why the verse saying the opposite? Verse is not saying the opposite. Verse is saying the same. You are interpreting no, it wrongly. It, read it. Read it. It says, the, He placed mountains and then He put the food and the portion of food uh, at their end, which means grass and water and trees. And then, then, then He went to the sky. The sky was smoke. There was nothing. And then He made them seven sky. And then He made lamps. Do you see the number of days here? What do you mean number of days? Number of days means within two days earth and sky was created and in, by fourth day mountain grass and those things were created. Okay, I will so you are interpreting you. I will, it I wrongly or showing it to audience wrongly. Wrong what does this have to do with our topic anyway? Secondly, second, you idiot. Okay, and How many days? Read, okay, you see, you this just, make you Jesus God? No, you just point your finger at a stupid mistake in the Quran. How many days are in front of us now? I didn't do that. No, I want you to count the, the days. Allah created Four the days. Earth. Allah created the earth in two days, correct? Hmm. And then He created whatever in the top of the earth in four days, correct? Hmm. Hmm. And then He created whatever in the top of the earth yeah. in four days, correct? Now after that, He created the sky within the same day. This is not. Don't don't make don't make things up. The verse in the front of you. Uh, Allah created the the earth in two days. Verse number nine. Does it say that? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And the sky is also in between Don't say two the days. sky. He did not mention the sky there. Stop being a liar. Yeah, it is written. Did he yeah, say? It did he say? Did days. he say? Shut, shut up. Did he say I created the earth in two days? Yes or no? Yes. Did he mention the sky there? In the verse number twelve, he mentioned. No, he did not. See, so he accomplished them as seven skies uh, here, in two here, days. Focus with me. Focus with me, Abdul. Focus with me. In verse number nine, did he say, I, 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 I created the sky in two days, correct or not? James, you are teaching wrong things to people. Listen, and you are, listen you are, you are, does it say the sky in verse number nine? Does it say anything about the sky in verse number nine? But nine and twelve are interconnected. No problem, but does it say anything about nine in, the, in verse number nine about the sky? In verse nine and twelve are interconnected. They are connected. We got it. We got it. But I'm asking you, verse number nine. Does your God speak anything about the sky? In the eleven, He speak now. Eleven and twelve. Stop it. I'm asking you about verse number nine. Does your God say anything about the sky? No. In the verse number nine, doesn't. Well, thank you. So then, say be, be an adult. You know, don't make me. You know, go crazy on you. Okay. Okay. Then, we'll just make shut, up, God. shut up. Okay. And then Allah He created everything in the top of the earth in four days, correct? Verse number ten. Okay. So do you have better theory in Genesis? I want to ask you. Don't change the topic. No, no. Do you have verse number ten? Verse number three in Genesis? 10, potato, don't change Genesis the topic. Chapter one. You cannot run away from the stupidity of the Quran. Verse number ten. I'm not running. Verse I'm number ten. It. Verse number ten. You coward. Are interpreting it wrongly. You are running away. Explain it. You are running okay. away. Okay. Explain, explain it to me from we Genesis. Just finish here, stupid idiot. Don't, don't, don't go jump. You are coward now. We Can go, you speak it? Go after explain it from this. Genesis. We want to finish this. We want to finish this. Stupid donkey. Stop being a Is donkey. Verse number four, does it say that Allah took him four days to create everything in the top of you, the earth? You are getting so angry that your because, Christianity faith is going to are, end in my one call. You are a stupid liar, everybody is laughing at you. I'm asking you and you are running away. Does it you say, losing your it is you, it you, it don't is you who mentioned the days, it's you who mentioned so, the days. Did Allah you are getting create so excited that your Christianity is going to end in one single there, call? Why you don't dare to answer the question, did Allah create everything in the top of the earth in four days? See, when... Proper are servant you going to answer or not? Are you going to answer or not? You are so much afraid. Are you going to answer? This he was afraid. He was afraid. 
It is you who See, all the, the topic. All the, you, all the it fans are looking at you. You are getting so hyper. Because now Shin everybody, please. son of Mutaha Kawad, you will answer or not. <laughs> See, 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 you are getting so high. You will, an, you will answer or not. Did Allah created everything in the top of the earth in four days? After he finished the earth in two days. Did he or not? You are getting so high for... Are you, you going to answer or not? Are Genesis. you going to answer? Are Can you, you explain it from Genesis? Are you going Genesis? to answer? See, see, here we go. Potato, can you explain in Genesis? Can you explain in Genesis? Coward son of Muta. Chapter 2 says two days. Verse, no, verse number 9 says 2 days, verse number 10 is 4 days, now we have 6 days already, don't call me potato, and you explain Genesis, let your dad call me, coward, the reason you don't want to talk about the topic no more because you notice that this is a lose, 2 days to create the earth, 4 days to create in the top of the earth, so now already we have 6, and then we have 2 days to create the sky, that is 8, but isn't it your stupid Quran says that we created the earth and in, in, in the heaven in six days? <laughs> Everybody can go and, and this is what they will do to you, by the way, those who will make videos after this. They will take what you said, what you agreed upon a minute ago, and what you go against a minute after. Coward. Allah, he created the earth and the heaven in six days. It's all over the Quran. And your stupid translation, which now you have no excuse, saying then, then. Then. <laughs> he created for you that all in earth contains and now contains doesn't mean water and now contains doesn't mean grass and now contain doesn't mean uh, uh, animals but just to show you that you are a coward and you are a potato and I was being so patient with you potato coward never try to play with a Christian prince this is your stupid Muhammad giving you a big finger. Read your coward. Read your stupid. Read your donkey. And this is Sahih. The messenger of Allah says, Allah the exalted the glorious, created the earth in Saturday, the mountains in Sunday, the trees in Monday, the things in Thailand labor in Tuesday, the light in Wednesday, <laughs> and he spread the animals in all kind in Thursday. <laughs> so which one he created first? The trees, the mountains, or the stars? Potato. I ask him a thousand times, does it say Allah created the water after he finished the sky? He said yes. After he finished the stars, he said yes. I repeated the question again and again. So, and I asked him even to repeat after me. So they will not play games later. It says I did not say that. Can you explain to me, Genesis? What Genesis have to do with this now? And by the way, they asked Zach and Naik about how, how long it took the earth to be created. He said, brother, sister, the Quran said six days, but it means six period. And every period is a million of years, period. The Quran says six days. Suddenly now days became period. And Muhammad he says Allah created the the the, the dirt in 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 in, in uh, Saturday. This is the billion of year Saturday. 
Monday is Sunday is a billion of year too. They love to lie. Lying is their objective. Lying is their God. Lying is their game. But all lies come from the devil and they will die. And you just died. This is why when you have a flat tire, you said, can you explain to me Genesis? Who care about Genesis now? You see, if this guy, when he called me, he said, I want you to explain to me this verse, I would say, okay, well, he's just coming back to what he asked me for. And the reason we mentioned this, because he said, if there is many Allah, they will speak against each other. He will say one, he will say the sun come from here. The other one will say the sun come from there, which is a very funny statement, by the way, because do I need two gods to say the opposite about where the sun coming from? How stupid, everybody see the sun coming from the east, at least by look. However, as long as you are mentioning the sun, you idiot, your Quran says that there is two east and two west. Why? Because your God is a stupid. He could not explain why the sun appear from a place in the winter and appear from other place in the summer. So he claimed that he is the Lord of the two east and the two west. The two east and the two west. Do you see it? The Bible speak many times about speaking to a liar and speaking to a fool. And always, by the way, liars are fools and fools are liars. Because you have to be a fool to think that you can fool God and you can fool people about God. Why? Because when you fool people about God, you are fooling yourself and you will go to hell. So you are fooling yourself, you are not fooling anyone. And then you might be even the, pay the price twice or three times more because you are fooling others by your foolishness. And now those who will download the video, please cut his, the question I ask him, are you sure that the earth created and finished before the sky? He said, yes. Then we show him the other verse, you know, and etc. Put them together, make it a comedy video. Let everybody laugh at the Muslims trying to defend the stupidity of Muhammad. And the funny, he is the one who chose for me his translation with saying then. I mean, the word then is all over the place. Then, then, then. He created everything in the earth, then. So, and then he said to me, oh no, he went back to spread the earth. Do Allah, he went up to the sky twice, according to the Quran? Based on your stupidity, the word is tawa in the Quran is wrong, because the Quran mentioned that Allah, he went up to heaven once. Stawa. This is your stupid Quran, potato, dummy. Only once. I was holding myself, by the way, as much as I can to keep him with me because I know that people they need some entertainment. So you were our joker. You see the word istawa? You can ask any Muslim how many times Allah, during the creation, he went up and down. They will say to you only once. You can go and search the question now in Google. 